Um, here we go. What's going on, VOD people? We're back with, uh, and as you can see, I have no system data found for BBS. We're back in the BBS grind. It's been uh, about a year since we played it on, on the channel. Um, that was like what we kicked off 2022 with, and I guess we're kind of ending 2022 with it as well. Um, but this time, instead of a critical level one run, we're doing a platinum trophy run, which in some ways will be easier, but in some ways a lot harder. Um, so I'm curious, I've never done it before, I have about 80 something percent of the BBS trophies on my main profile, um, but I switched over to a fresh profile to get them here, and we are indeed going to proceed. Um, and we're doing a poll right now as to who I will play as first, because I do have to play as everybody on Critical to get the, um, Critical Competitor trophy. It's not it says clear the game on Critical, but you have to clear all of the campaigns and do, like, the secret episode and all of that, so... Um, it is kind of insane, um, but at least through doing that, I will also get the three story, uh, yeah, the story trophies, the vessel, the dormant, and the seeker, that is Terraven and Agua. Um, I'll get the complete the final episode trophy through doing all of that. And then, like, I could just do a beginner file to do a lot of the optional shit. Um, that's kind of gonna be, like, I think I'll avoid all the optional shit and just, like, do a straight shot for the story, um, to get the critical competitor trophy. Um, which I already have on my main file, but if we're going to make this a Platinum Trophy run, I have to do it again. Um, but then, like, in terms of, like, beating the Unknown and No Heart and the Armor of Ericus and doing all of the... Um, getting the finish commands and all of that, like, I should probably do that on Beginner, right? Um, which means I might have to make a fourth file, but... Um, Alright, I'm going to do a new game. I gotta get through the, uh, the Venn tutorial anyway, so we can let the poll run still. Um... And yeah, I don't know if I said this uh, after I started recording the VOD, but I'm playing on PS5. I got it for Christmas. And God, the PS5 is so fucking big. Like, I took a picture of... I have all the PlayStation consoles now. It's the only um, line of consoles where I have every single one because I never had any Xboxes. And um, the... Uh, I gotta skip this, unfortunately. Um, I guess I could let it... Uh, let the visual run if you want. Um, and I have every Nintendo console besides the SNES and the... N64. Um, actually, I think I have a SNES, but I don't have the wires for it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to skip it. We've seen it. Um, I guess I don't have a Virtual Boy, but I have a PS1 through 5, and I had them all lined up just to, like, see, just to, like, visualize it. Maybe that's weird of me, but I wanted to see it. And just the 4 compared to the 5, like, I did not fully appreciate the fucking girth of the PS5. It is enormous. Like, I used to have my PS4 and my mini fridge on this desk space here, and Good thing my mini fridge fucking broke because it would not fit with the PS5. So, um, <clears throat> I guess I just have to cram a ton of shit into the 5. I don't know. Uh, let me know about um, game audio, by the way. Looks like we're doing um, the Aqua Run first. Okay. Okay. When you do Command Board, yeah, do it in Mirage Arena. Yeah, I think we might have learned that the hard way when we did the uh, level 1 file. Um, <clears throat> because we needed to get the secret reports to do the final episode, so that's why we were worried about that being a thing. Um, yeah, I can't. God, water! I meant to get the fucking Sora saying water for your drop. I was like, what if water shows up? Then I can have that, but I fucking forgot to do it. Um, raise the audio a bit? Okay. Let me see. Let me know now. Do we watch the scenes, by the way? Um... Like, I think we watched them all when we did it at the beginning of the year, so that's up to you. Um, no audio at all? No, it's a quietish scene right now, but... Um, okay, well, now we can't... It's hard to test, because these scenes are very quiet. Um, Zen or Zen or... He should be hearing um, Dive to the Heart to Sadi. I see the uh, waveforms moving, or the, uh, the bar. Um... <clears throat> I guess we'll do a poll on watch cutscenes or not. Okay, cool. I mean, if we watch the cutscenes, we're going to be here for a bit, you know? We're going to make less progress per stream, but I don't care. Listen, this is what the people voted for. Um, this is not what I... Like, I don't mind doing it. I'm actually kind of excited to do it. But, um... What is this the people voted on this as, like, our next kind of main... Because we've run through all of the games um, already. Very quiet? Okay. Bonna... Um, Water Cage. What cage game is your favorite? Uh, which one is it? Which one could it be? Um, I'll have to get back to you on that water. I have to really kind of do some soul searching. I gotta search the big white platform in my, my gut and see 
Um, sorry, Mario 161. Thank you for the follow there. I uh, missed the pet the presto from Scotch. Um, yeah, love Dark Road. Love it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, we're kind of like pretty close on whether or not we watch the cutscenes, so. Is that not where this all takes place? Is it not in the gut? Um, is it not like right underneath the large intestine? Uh, <laughs> I see your taste is still gone. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, well, well played, Water. Well played. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's like the easy, uh, well, I guess, uh, Pat, nothing changed for Pat. He still has no taste anyway, so. Um, yes, of course. Yeah, there you go, Baka. Uh, fashionably late. The heart is stored inside the balls. You heard it here first. PJ is a cardiologist, so. Did you know? Um, no taste. No taste alert. Hey, you might not remember this scene because it's only going to play when you do, like, a fresh new file and don't skip the tutorial. I think. I think if you do a new file um, and you say skip the tutorial, you don't get this. Because you have to do this, and then you play as Ven to do the uh, whacking the medallions in uh, Land of Departure. Open so. the door. Um, he does have a small torso. He's a little boy. A little baby boy. I mean, he's actually like a thousand or whatever, but... Um, <clears throat> no, it's, it's different, Scotch. There's there's balls, but then there's heart balls, you know? And um, everyone has those. Um, and the heart goes in the heart balls. It's just simple anatomy, and I don't really want to... I don't want to have to sit down and explain it to everybody, but... Um, it's heart balls. Wow. Yeah, cardio testicles would be the uh, the scientific term. Um, God, I have so much candy too, by the way. Oh, regular GF got me my favorite. Fucking Lindor truffles. Not a big chocolate guy, but I think I've said this on stream before the last time I got them as a gift, but I, uh, I fucking love Lindor truffles. Um, they're just so good. Fuck yeah, truffles. <laughs> You know what, Solar Blossom? I will not! I'm sorry. <laughs> but I need them. They taunted me. They were sitting on my bookshelf while I laid sick in bed. And I was like, I can't taste those! I want them so bad! And now I have a... Uh... My mom actually got me a bag too, so I have two bags. And, um... I really, really need them! I just got my taste back! Sorry! Hmm. <laughs> sorry. Nachos, thank you for gifting a sub to Water KH. Nachos! Um, 523 total from Nachos. Thank you so much. Yo, Ven's room. Look at this. Gender. Look at that. I never noticed that. Um, and the Master of Keyblade. Um, that must be PS5 exclusive. There's no way he had a gender poster in uh, the PS4 or PSP original. He has the Ultimania, you know? Cool shit. Ven invented gender. That's why the word invented has Ven in it. <laughs> because he invented gender. Um, yeah, what gender is that? <laughs> More like Vendor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm guessing everybody in Land of Departure identifies with whatever that symbol was. A meteor shower. A meteor shower. Can't wait. Can't wait to see that fucking sick meteor shower. We're back at it again, folks. That's interesting reading. Everyone always says that Aqua is, uh, is gay because of the uh, Cinderella interaction, you know? Is it really? Is that really the transgender symbol? In Ven's bedroom? Why does he have that in there? I didn't think uh, Eric has taught that in the curriculum, but now we know. Um, you would think Eric would be like really, uh, you know, one, you know, <laughs> one of those about it. I can't see but much from here. maybe he's more progressive than I thought. Okay, now it's loud. Um, 
Like, I get, like, pre, uh, pre-death Ericus is probably, like, watching some choice YouTube videos. Um, yeah, Ericus, Ericus said trans rights, but was wrong about everything else. Uh, alright. Is it too loud now? Because I feel like, um, the battle music is just gonna fucking blow your ears out. Okay, music's a bit loud. Yeah, that's the thing, the cutscenes in the field music is gonna be quieter, but that's just gonna have to be how it is. Um, he did kill Strelencia, he is Vent and he is sus. Um, I can't change my fucking, uh, camera configuration yet, which is ASS! Can't be invert, gang. So... <clears throat> um... God, he's pissed. He hates these medals. Reminds him of Union Cross, that's why. Do you see how angry he was when he showed up and he saw the medals hanging? Because it reminded him of Union Cross. He was like, oh, the shitty game. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> A little. <laughs> A little bit, I'm not though. I'm sorry. I just, you got, I gotta punch something. But that was lore right there for sure. We're seeing so much Ven lore. Transgender Ven lore. We have Unicross hatred Ven lore. <laughs> PJ, how has nobody ever, like, have I never heard anyone talk about that? Like, like I'm not saying, like, obviously I'm not the first person to notice it, but how, how is that never across my path? As like, he just straight up has a poster for that in his room. That's that's so funny. <clears throat> Terra is a big booty bitch. In fact, let me. Cake. Yeah, there you go. Uh, am I supposed to use commands right now? Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, we thought he was bland, but he's actually the most complex of the trio. So. Bow bow. Um. To be fair, it's not explicitly okay, but it's similar to one of the many gender symbols. Yeah, I mean it's. It, you would, it would be hard-pressed to uh, mistake it for, like, a gender symbol, or to not mistake it for one. Um, look at these water physics, baby! Yo! Oh my god, so good. Alright. Oh, wait. I'm not, I'm not done working out. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Uh, like, I was already bad at paying attention, and now with the, with the Rona Fog... I'm just gonna blame the Rona Fog for, like, another X amount of years. Am I doing more commands? Am I, uh... What was I doing? Finishers? Hello? Um... Oh! Okay. Never mind. I did it. How about this chest just spawning in? <clears throat> did Ven spawn that in with his mind? You know? We have no idea what is the limits of his strength. I gotta get used to opening with X. That sucks. Slide dash. Yada yada. <clears throat> Yeah, like, Ven, low attention span, king. He's like, the meteor shower! Oh, wait, metals to hit! And he's like, oh, yeah, the meteor shower! Like, Jesus. Try thinking about more than one thing at a time. It's impossible. Um, that's true, yeah. If you're a KH1 OG, you do have to click down into the, the empty fourth slot when it turns into examine or whatever. Um, I've not played PS2 KH1 in over probably 10 years at this point. Um... Because I don't, I don't think I played it in, like, 2012 before the remix came out. Familiar. Wow. Oh, why does it seem so familiar? I feel like I asked this last time. Um, because... It, I'm sure it's simple, I just... I don't know why. Um, um... There's no real limit on on quizzes. Um, I, I want to like not have people have like a like a elongated uh, monopoly on on the quizzes. So, um, but you know, all right. PJ sent me a list of of symbols. Um, I'll have to like pull that pull that one from the poster back up. It kind of looks. It reminds me of, like the this bi gender one here, um, but something might have been oriented differently. Um, You've always lived here with us. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's up, guides? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you. Um, really, like, and I was, you know, thankfully, I have, you know, I'm vaccinated, and I had the first booster. I never got around to the second one. Um, but I, I, it's it's so lame to make it to fucking December of 22 and then get it. You know, it's like I fucking held out that long, and it wasn't even my fault. It was my fucking sister's fault. <laughs> you know. I made the mistake of, of uh, kindly going shopping with her, 
and uh, I paid the price. I masked up when I did all my in-person Christmas shopping. And it's like, fuck me. Um, yeah, that was the first time I got it. And thankfully, as I was saying, it was pretty... Uh, I mean, it was, you know, it felt like a cold with the added um, detriment of not having taste or smell. Um, no, I don't. she had it because she was feeling bad and didn't tell me that she was feeling bad um, before we went shopping. So I was a little miffed, but... Because um, I've been playing by the rules, you know? <clears throat> You know, I'm not gonna like put on a mask while I'm sitting in the car with her. I don't have like I wouldn't have assumed that that would be something I'd have to do. But I think she was. I think I went shopping with her like that Tuesday, but she was feeling crappy like Sunday or Monday. So whatever, it's fine. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I I felt crappy the one night like when I was streaming, and then that the night I went to bed, uh, it was just brutal. Um, I like didn't get any sleep. I had a fever. Um, you know very congested but that was like the worst like the 23rd was the worst by christmas i was feeling okay that was like probably regular gf's worst day was christmas but she didn't lose her taste or smell um she had a quicker and more uh you know um she had a better recovery than i did so um and i'm thankful because I, I felt bad it was just like the timing was shitty you know she was already here for a day before i i thought oh i you know, I was I felt crappy for like maybe twelve hours while she was here, and then I tested. Um, so I was like, you know, she could have gone home, but it would have been kind of like, well, you're already doomed, so you might as well stick around. And that's what that's what she thought as well. So, um, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm. Well, that's yet to be seen. Um. Oh yeah, this one of the few scenes where they're all together. Really? That's nice. An unbreakable connection. An unbreakable connection. Cake. Cake. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw a random. Uh, I don't think we had the cake button or like uh, the cake command for most of BBS. Maybe we did, but I don't know if I used it a ton. But now that I have it on a button. Cake. Fruit cake. Um, I know that Christmas is over, but I'll still be using fruit cake year round on the button. Fruit cake. Tomorrow's the exam. These three are best friends because they remind you of SRK. <laughs> that, that's what the game is saying. Listen, I know there's like a lot of like, there's still like, I don't know, since 2014, there's been like this fucking massive hate boner for BBS. And like, I just don't get it. There's so many more ripe targets out there. Um, and uh, like, it's like having another resurgence and like, I don't know. You take the good with the bad with this game. Oh, we're playing as Aqua, by the way. I'm, I'm doing this as Terra right now, but we'll be playing the uh, first campaign run through as Aqua. Um, like, I'm not saying it's on par with fucking the mainline three. I don't know if anybody really is, though. I mean, there's a couple of people who have it as, like, their favorite or they're in their top three, but... Or I gotta block Ben's attack instead of just beating the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um... Yeah, can we get the Cage 2 hate wave again? Like, did I even... Has that even happened during my YouTube lifetime? Um, like, I tried to be riding that wave. Like, I tried to come in on that wave, but... Um, yeah, I think... I, honestly, guys, I think the issue is that, like, people weren't harsh on it when it was a PSP game. Like, I remember reading the message boards and, like, you know, on the forums and everything. Like, everyone liked BBS, but then it comes out on the, on the remix... Everyone's like, oh, it's a bad game. Well, that's only bad because it's right next to... I mean, obviously, you have your, you're entitled to your opinion if you don't like the game. But I'm saying, like, I think you probably are more inclined to dislike it if you're, like, seeing it next to KH1 and 2 on a fucking, you know, um, on the menu, on the main menu. Um, so it's just like... Like, of course you're not going to like it as much as the other ones. And of course it's going to pale in comparison in some ways because it was on a PSP. And now you're playing it on a big screen right after you probably played KH2 or 1. Um, and they're, you know, overall originally intended for a console. Like, they're more console-centric experiences, so... Right, am I just supposed to kill him now? God, I really need to read. Was it shot lock, maybe? Um, keep hitting Ven to fill up your command gauge. Okay, <laughs> got it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah! Eh, eh. There's never not been a Day's Love wave. I think Day's Love is, like, one of, like, the counterculture undercurrents of KH. Like, I feel like the real big normies don't like Days, but even I, like, appreciate Days. Like, I don't want to play it over and over, but I've always, like, even though I've had it lower in my personal rankings, like, I've always respected it. Um, 
But it's always, I like what PJ said, I think it's true. Like, there's always been, like, some days love um, ever since it came out. So. <clears throat> I don't think the normies love days, unless we have different definitions of what normies are. Um, yeah, I mean, King K d did have a... I mean, I love the King K days video. Um, a lot of people have had, like, derivative commentary about the game after that. Um, I mean, and I agree with what he's saying. Um, like, was it intentionally... I, I haven't... I don't want to speak out of turn because I haven't watched that video in a long time. But, um, like, I don't know if they really intentionally... And I'm not even sure if that's what he was saying in the video. If they intentionally made it sort of um, repetitive and... Um, routine, but like, if there's gonna be a game that does that in the series, it might as well be days because it, it makes sense for what the the atmosphere of the game is. Like, it's it feels oppressive and a little monotonous at times, and that's kind of the the point. Um, um, they're definitely normies. I mean, in terms of like the cage community, like obviously liking cage, you're probably not a normie because <laughs> you like cage. Um, but within that that bubble of non normies. There are the normies. <clears throat> it's not oppressive enough. Auto demands more oppression. You heard it here first. Auto woke up and said, you know what the world needs? More okay, oppression. Thanks a lot, Auto. Thanks a lot, Auto. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Like, why would Zemnus do that? It's like, I don't care what they do after their shift. I don't give a shit. Um, the fact that everyone here says Days Love is uh, underrated kind of shows that it's well loved, yeah. And then if you stack the games on top of each other, Days has a major entry point for Cage, or Days was a major entry point for Cage because of the accessibility of the DS. Yeah, that's a huge thing. Like the DS, way more accessible and and, and more kids' hands than the PSP. Um, and you know, a lot of kids uh, didn't like. They grew up in a time like between the PS2 and the DS, which was not like a huge gap, but it, it still existed. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, Brian. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how Kino got into Kingdom Hearts. Is uh, he had DS, you know? Um, that's happened for a lot of people. I will be Aqua because we'll be playing as Aqua. Um, and I, I liked Days a ton when I first played it in 2009. I was I was in sixth grade and I think it hit me at the perfect time, you know? Um, I don't know if Kino played it when it released. Maybe, I would guess uh, a couple years later, but I, I could be wrong. But, um, you know, he would probably was probably in a similar age range when it came out. Am I going to die to Ven? I guess I did. Oh! <laughs> wow, well, imagine you're going to get crowned master tomorrow and you lose to Ven. Um, I was not paying attention. I don't want to spar again. I don't care. Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> Yo, Ali, What's going on? Yeah, Ali also uh, recovering from the Rona. Thank you so much. It's Ali, 16 monthos. Appreciate that so much. Ha! Um, wow. Thank you so much, Ali. Um, isn't that crazy? Tara's gonna be like, you mean she's a fucking master, but she lost to Ven yesterday. I have it here on my phone. Ericus, look. And he's like, this is pretty damning. <laughs> this is bad stuff, Aqua. I don't know. You know. Um, uh, GF and I made it further than Kiwi and I did in the My Friends Are My Power run. Um, Kiwi and I got walled at Trick Master. And in fairness to being Kiwi, I don't remember if we did it on beginner mode. I don't remember if we used the uh, stat boost. Um, and regular GF and I did not use the stat boost for Trickmaster either. We used them after that because we forgot we had them. Um, how is saving going to look on PS5 Birth by Sleep? Um, okay, just a little gray box. I was curious. Um, command board. Listen, I like command board, so doing it all again, though? Um, yeah, create system data, please. Yeah, I stubbed my toe. You don't understand. It was a mistake. Yeah, I do not call her GF in real life interactions, but um, I'm trying not to dox her. Um, that's all on her. If she ever wants to, you know. I also don't want people to be weird to her. Um, people have been weird to me on the internet, so I, I have no doubt that they, they might be weird to her. So just taking precautions. We got nothing to hide. We just don't want people to be weird to her. Oh, yeah I, yeah, I thought that me using a potion was uh, was a gift sub. <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. Um, I literally used it and then was like, oh, a gift sub. Um, I think that, that the reason that it was the first time that happened, I mean, aside from being uh, blind at the time, is that um, I don't often use potions. Um, although Sora says this should help when he cures, right? Doesn't he? 
Maybe I was just stupid. Like, I I was ronified at that point. Um, I didn't know it, but... Um, my senses were just gone. He says, this should help, or he says, heal. Um, so I don't know why I thought <laughs> that, uh, as soon as I did it, that I was like, oh, it's up. Um, he says heal, but does he never say this should help? Michael Servin. See ya, Briny. I thank you for stopping in. Good to see ya. Huh? Ha! God, we're like, uh, 25 minutes in and we haven't even really gotten into it yet. It, it was very silly of me. That's the point. That's the point. Yo, Flushed Away World? Mickey is a rat, as were the uh, protagonists of that movie, so... Wow. I think I've seen Flushed Away once, and I remember almost nothing about it. Isn't it like a rat society in, like, the sewer world? Um, when did that movie even come out? It feels very 2006 to me. Let me see. Flushed Away. It is indeed. Um... Yeah. Is that like the most forgettable DreamWorks movie? Like if you had to name, if someone had a gun to your head, a wizard with a gun showed up and it was like, name all the DreamWorks movies. Do you have Flushed Away as like maybe one of the last three that you name? Um, sorry, everyone loves Flushed Away. Um, yeah, we're starting with Aqua. I mean, listen, you should start as, well, Namura says do it in order, even though it ruins a lot of the intrigue. Like you probably should start as you probably should start as Ven or Aqua. Definitely not Terra, even though that's what he says. I always like that the wizard has a gun. That's just a thing that I do. Um, the PS2 flushed away game is really good. Um, I played it in order when I originally played it. Um, but we're, we're starting as Aqua. That's what the people voted for. <clears throat> also because we are gay, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I think Ven, Terra, Aqua makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know. I just think, like, Terra first is bad. Like, even though that's what he says to do, like, it's just... It ruins all the Ven stuff, you know? Um, God, that sounds terrifying, Cool's guy. People are so sensitive about the order that you do things in. Um, like, for me, it's just... Do it in the order the game's released. And, um... Like, with this... There's what Namura says and what I think would give you the best plot beats um, in the right order. Um, but people get so in their feelings when you tell them what order to do things in. And I wouldn't be like, hey, you better do it. But even still, people think you presenting information or opinion is like, this is a law that I am now enacting. So um, you got to be careful. People are very sensey. Are we hearing this at all, by the way? Um... Like, if I'm going to talk over these cutscenes, I want them to at least uh, share some volume space with me. Then let the examination begin. I'm talking over Phoenix King Ozai. That's right. <clears throat> it's quiet. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm struggling to find a balance between... Because everything gets louder when you're fighting and everyone's yelling. I think I'd rather it be quiet than loud, though. I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, Mark, like Mark Hamill. The Mark of Mastery, Don't Master Ericus. Ozai is the hottest say. character in Avatar The Last Airbender? How soon we forget King of Boomy. Um, the famous Heartballs, the very same David Daybreak. He He's been yeah, I said, I said what Agnes said. It's about time you yeah. shut up forever. Stay sharp, Ben. <clears throat> Stay sharp, ben. Yeah, Venom's about as sharp as a spoon, so we'll see how that goes. But Um is Ozai the hottest character in Avatar the Last Airbender? It's possible. Yeah, Iro is right there. Um what old man Werthers was thinking about while barely uh, listening to Ericus's boring speech. Uh, what was yeah, like Xehanort is just sitting there like this is so boring, I wish I was doing something else. My whole weekend's fucked because of this. Of course, the Mark of Mastery had to be on a Saturday. Like, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna catch up on finger wiggling, but... Now I'm stuck here in this frankly uncomfortable chair. I thought he had a better budget than this, but... He was peeping that hot body he was gonna steal, yeah. Oh, shit. Can we, like, get... get oh, shit! I'm gonna die to light balls? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I'm not done with this Ozai discourse. Like, there's not a ton of adults in Avatar is the problem. Um, so you're like between like Ozai, fucking um, Iroh, King Bumi, um, General Zhao. Um, so, Sokka and Katara's dad. Let me look at Sokka and Katara's dad. Sokka and Katara's dad. And then I'll pull up Ozai and see who's hotter. Hakoda is his name. Um, Hakoda, he's got an interesting beard situation. Fire Lord Ozai. Um, I don't know, Vodka. I mean, he's got drip, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. He has an interesting uh, little goatee guy. Um, that's tough. I don't know. I think Hakoda might be, might be a contender. Avatar Kiyoshi, that's another one. Avatar Roku in his prime. Someone with the VIP badge, send me, send me a picture of prime Roku. It was an excellent test. One I chose to let unfold. Which brings Guitar's dad is a narc? I haven't watched Avatar in a while, so I, I can't, uh, confirm or deny that. Now, um, Terra and Aqua, the two and Ozai is a literal dictator? Yeah, Hikoda's a freedom Remember, fighter. Not like the Jet freedom fighters. No winners, only I should watch Avatar again. For when equal powers clash, Yo! Is, is it kind of weird that Terra's theme plays here? Considering you can, like, be playing this as Aqua? I don't know. I like it. I love Terra's theme. You can play it while I'm taking a shit, you know? It's fine. Play it anywhere. Play it at my funeral. But, like, because you can play this as Terra or Aqua, I feel like it's kind of weird that it's... I mean, maybe Aqua's hearing this as Terra's boss fight music. <clears throat> because Nomura can't focus on women for even a second. I mean, in fairness, playing the Aqua theme here would uh, not work quite as well, but... Um, God, no, please don't make me watch M.I. Shyamalan Avatar. Please, no. Anything but that. You both performed commendably. However... Only Aqua has shown the mark of mass. Yeah, on Prime Roku. Oh, thank you, Nachos. Let's see. You fail to keep the darkness with young Roku. In check. I mean, young Roku looks there a lot like Ozai. He just has more facial hair, and he has like the little inwards pointy guys. Aqua. I don't know. I might have to. I might have to give it to Ozai over to Roku. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not saying like, listen. I have a beard, but I'm not the be all end all authority on beards. So, hey. I'm sorry. Cake. Cake. Darkness. Cheer him up with cake. Cake. Where did it come from? Uh, you failed your test cake. Always good. Only Ventus has shown the mark of mastery by sitting there and doing nothing. Good job. What do you make That's how Yenstead got his. Wow. He ain't got More lore. Um, Somebody's got it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the fact these bitches all go to sad weepy Terra no, knowing that's Aqua. Yeah. Yeah, shouldn't we at least, like, throw some fucking confetti for Aqua? You kind of have to feel for Aqua in this moment, because it's like, she doesn't even get, like, uh... You know, it's like it's her birthday, but someone also died. Like, fucking Great Aunt Margaret died the same day. And, like, you didn't even really know Great Aunt Margaret, but, like, everyone's kind of sad about it. Like, your parents knew her. And it's just like, alright, I guess I'm sad too, but it's also my birthday. And now Margaret's, like, taking a lot of the, the spotlight from me. And now she has, like, fucking duties to do? Like, there's not even, like, can we at least celebrate? Like, a cake? <laughs> cake. Happy passing the test cake. <clears throat> what is that? Um. What happened? No, I think Aqua was a little bit stifling on Ven. Here? Like, I think, uh, let Ven explore. Very well, then. Like, she was right, and I think Ven had a point. Um. Ven can hold his own, he's fine. Yes. <clears throat> And Aqua, you know, for all of the, uh, well. all of the, um, credit I've just given her, she is a bit of a bootlicker, you know? She works for the feds. That was my dear old friend, Yen like, she shows up to Deep Space, she's like, you know what I want to do? Work He's for the police. No like, come on. He He's not, though. He's actually a thousand. He's actually, like, a thousand. She doesn't know that, but he is. He doesn't either. Nobody does, but she is. She's a narc, and she's, she's a bootlicker, and she works for the feds. Um, hi, Ehes. For he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only and Terra is ambitious to a fault. And Ven is sleepy. You know? But 
I do admire Aqua's, like, ability or, you know, she has this weight on her shoulders of, like, trying to kind of protect her friends and bring them back. Um, she's committed to that, you know? Yeah, and that's the same reason why I forgive Terra, um, because he doesn't know any better. Like, Ven, I can't forgive because he's so boring. <laughs> but Aqua being a bootlicker, Terra yeah, uh, sometimes being manipulated, even though that's overstated in the fandom, um, I forgive because they just don't know any better. They've never left the world. So, yeah. Aqua's like, not all cops. So. So here we are. I need you two to get this situation <clears throat> under control. And Eliminate why can't you help? Exactly. Have we ever thought about why Ericus has to stay here? Between. He has to watch the castle? Um, to to I don't know. And, and listen, maybe an auto was here the other day saying uh, Ven gets more depth than, uh, you know, is less boring when you factor the Union Cross stuff into it. But as, you know, experiencing base game BBS... Um, I have to put him last. Even though, like, Terra is water down Riku. Um, I just think he's neat. Yes, Master. Terra. Bow, bow, bow. Um, sorry I can't help you two. I'm busy doing nothing. What? You must know. I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way... I would name you master in a second. But how can I? When you are so um, I technically was the feds power. once. Uh, <laughs> I, I worked for the federal government, so. My, uh, my friends are watching through Survivor Season 22 for the first time, which if anyone knows Survivor, um, they know it's a bad season. Um, but there's a character, or rather, you know, a, a player on there, but he is basically a character um, who constantly refers to himself as a former formal federal agent. And that's such a vague <laughs> and broad thing that I realized I'm also a formal, former federal agent. Um, I worked as a customer service agent for the federal government. So it's like, uh, it's a weird thing. Um, and I can speak from my experience. Those feds sucked. <laughs> I, I didn't like any of those feds. So if Og was licking their boots, that, that's definitely a bad call. Yeah, Philip, exactly. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I keep saying, yeah, I keep saying formal federal agent, like a dressed up one. Um, my dad works for the FBI, he'll have you arrested. You're disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier. Yeah. God, these cutscenes go longer than I thought they did. I want to play. <laughs> Obviously, first time through, I'm like, yeah, I love this. Like, let's get into it. Let's, uh, let's get all the story bits, but, um, you know, on stream, I'm ready to go. <clears throat> of course. Bom, bom. I well, like fed, fed up, you. yeah. I promise you. <laughs> yeah, I'm fed up with the feds. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. <clears throat> bom, bom, bom. Did he actually join the army? Wait, what? Is he old enough? Has it been that long? How old was he in that video? That's fucked. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think that's the bad ending right there. Um. Uh, these Erica scenes are interesting with Dark Road context. Yeah, you're right. Um, and I, the Dark Road is not fresh enough in my memory to uh, really derive a ton from what we just watched, but I believe you. Um, speaking of that, I wonder what the Apparently Kid is up to. Apparently! Apparently! Like, he's probably fucking 50 now. He probably has, like, a wife and kids. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, dark Road was about like this really dark street, um, and they all hung out there. <clears throat> love that. I do love how they activate the armor with the little boom. No. The Hurricane Tortilla Kid, you mean? More like Hurricane Tortilla. You have to bring him back. Maybe he's like working for FEMA or something. I gotta, like, figure out the, uh, the fucking dates on all these vines, you know? <clears throat> bow, 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 bow. We're off. We're off to the races. Yeah, like, what exactly does Ericus need to do that he can't... Like, I know, like, you know, for reasons, <laughs> it's gonna make it more difficult if he's in the fray here, but, like, is he literally watching the castle? Um... 
yeah, we're doing the awful playthrough. Um, that was the people, what the people voted on for first. Um, look, I got the journey begins. We're one step in. He's retired? Well, like, unretire, you know? Um, like, if you're a parent, and it's like, all right, your kids are all, you know, of age, they move out, and they're all on their own lives. But if something happens to them, I think, like, you come out of parenting retirement and then go figure out how to help them. So, I don't know. Not impressed by Ericus. Um, at least he teaches, like, a gender studies course at a land of departure, or at least so, so we can assume. But that's, that's like, his, one of his, his few Ws, you know. Yeah, Yen Sid was retired. He got off his ass. Well, it's only for a minute. Eric is like this is this will be like a whole afternoon I think so I'm an, I'm I'm already tuckered out from the exam I gotta sit down but he's he's fucking unretired enough to try and kill his kids later yeah it did take Jensen 17 years and it wasn't important enough for him to get up for Ericus to get up to save um, Ven but it was important enough for him to get up and kill him so. I, think he'll I mean, maybe as long as he doesn't leave the world, Do you have any idea I don't have to what? put my good shoes on. No. You know? Horrible father. Horrible, horrible. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. <clears throat> I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. See, like, this is way more interesting so, when you go into it uh, as Aqua first, one? because, like, you don't know what Terra no, um, but it seems he's did here. Pure hearts um... Heart. Same thing with um with, with um well, Enchanted Dominion. That his search hasn't taken him here. Are you happy with my history? I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. <clears throat> BBS plot. That's right. That's okay. right. Fart sniff underscore. Prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. Yeah, like I know this scene. As Peter just said, good scene. You still um, have the same dream. I think um. Well. Like, just yes. little moments like this where they get to cross paths even a little bit. Um, it's just like it feels like like it's more Should cohesive than something like a Cage 2. No like, you're going to get through that first stretch of Cage 2 worlds with, like, no fucking real character moments like this. Darkness. Like, sword and all in goofy talk, and, like, maybe you'll see an organization member, but... If you see her, give her <clears> thanks. Will do. Like, at least they got to wax poetic about their dream a bit here. Check in with each other. He'll be all right. He won't give in. To like to me, it's not even necessarily about what is said or what happens. It's just the effort that something happened in a Disney World. You know, um, you just you're not gonna get that into. We are, I was bitching about. Uh, God damn it! I was bitching about Cage Two before I started the the VOD recording, so you only see that on on Twitch VOD. But um, because I just gotta get my digs in. You know. Yeah, I'm interested to read the novel. Um, if it gives me an excuse to rip on the game some more, that'll be exciting. <laughs> Which, again, my number eight game of all time, Cage 2. Um, I'm just here to uh, balance the scales a bit. Boom. Like, should I bother getting all of the stickers on this critical file? Probably, right? And, like, getting all the chests? I don't know. What should I... Thunderstorm. Yo, Andrew. Thank you for the 21 months. Wow. Appreciate that. Um, let me just look at the trophy list again. Um, yeah, it's weird. I'm guessing time fuckery, Sir Shoddy. Like, I guess, um, like, Aqua leaving, like, two minutes later gives Terra enough time to fucking breeze through a ton of these worlds. I don't know. It's just, it's gameplay story segregation, but you're gonna have that. Like, Okay, I need to clear the game on Critical, so that means doing all three files. Um, but it's like, I have to get all the stickers, get all the reports, all the Unverse Battle Missions, um, everyone's reports, use the PD link ten times, um, learn all the finish commands. Like, I guess I'm going to be doing all this on Critical, huh? Right? Because, ugh, fuck. Like, how much easier would Unknown be on Beginner? <clears throat> I don't know. Because, it's like, I'm going to have all these files. Like, I have to learn all of their finisher commands on each file. So I might, I'm going to have to do all of it on the critical files. But I'm also going to have to do the super hard bosses on critical as well. <clears throat> He's still a one-shot on Beginner? Like, he kills you in one shot? Or, like, <laughs> you one-shot him? Um... 
Um, I like command board, so I'm not uh, dreading that at all. I'm dreading like getting all the the uh, command styles and shit like that. Um, -na 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 -na. Yeah, the BBS team uses their their ultimate attacks on chests before opening them. Um, he kills you in one shot without second chance. Okay, so it's gonna be hard regardless, right? So I might as well just fucking do it, you know. <clears throat> this is the scene where Aqua um, begins her premeditated murder of Lady Tremaine. What is that, by the way? I feel like I'm going to hit on all the same beats that I did on the first BBS playthrough on stream, but, like, the Unverse logo, like, just fucking was seared into Aqua's mind for a sec, or... What was that? There was something very Love that. Love that as a screen grab. You came back. It was the eyes and not the logo? My bad. She felt their bad vibes. <laughs> the vibes here are so off. I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. Ba -na 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 -na. Dropped by a lovely young lady. And I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will. That can't be comfortable. Course, the glass slipper. After all, you finally found Anyone someone here in chat ever worn a glass slipper? Show yourselves. Your father, the king, <clears throat> has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately. I'm an empath. I will start with the closest residents. And yeah, honestly, I think that's why the uh, the cage first playthrough video genre is so popular because um, it's like such a. I better pay her a visit. I'd better pay her a visit. <laughs> Murder in her eyes. Um, like obviously, most games uh, have that sense of you know nostalgia where it's like I want to go back and experience it for the first time. But um, cage is just so wild and so. Um, like, it has its own nostalgia of, like, even if you're playing for the first time, it gives you nostalgia for, like, those Disney movies. Um, so getting to see that and experience that for the first time, I think, is especially alluring to people, especially old heads. Um, so getting to see new people experiencing it is um, very, um, a very attractive prospect. So that's why that's such a huge genre right now. Um, in Dark Road, it's confirmed that there are characters born with inherent empathy and can sense other characters' feelings. Um... It makes sense Aqua's sensitive to that as she and Sora are kindred spirits. Yeah, it's true. They're both uh, very self-sacrificial as well. Um, um, I believe my, my drag name was Patrasha. I think that's what we landed on. So, um, What's going on? Welcome. Um, was it actually a fur slipper in the original story? And like the... What was Cinderella? It, was, it wasn't like a, like a Grimm, like a Brothers Grimm, was it? <clears throat> um... Well, another version was published by the Brothers Grimm. Um, but that, this goes back to, like... What does this go back to? The story of Rhodopis, recounted by the Greek geographer Strabo sometime between 7 BC and AD 23, about a Greek slave girl who marries the king of Egypt, is usually considered to be the earliest known variant of the Cinderella story. So the Cinderella story is fucking ancient. It's, like, literally from BC times, potentially. Um... But it looks like the earliest literary version of it is like maybe the 1600s, um, or at least the first European version written in prose is 1600s. Uh, but then you have like a Chinese version of it from what is this? From eight uh, 860. Cinderella is old, old as fuck. Sorry, I know that's probably not interesting to too many people besides Ruthie. Um, -na 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 -na. Should I not be grinding? I mean, I can gain levels, that's exciting. But god, I do, like, no damage. Gotta focus on magic with Aqua, obviously. Very well! Um, well, listen, I'll grind if I need to. I'm not gonna fight the... Oh, wait, I can uh, invert my camera. Please, god. Please, god, please. She can't go in here, can she? That's a terror only space. Um, yeah, I'm a weirdo who likes platforming, so <laughs> Cage One, you know, it has that. <clears throat> do the battles? What if I just like if I get walled, then I do the battles? You know, I'm just we're, like we've already. I haven't. I hardly played the game. We're like we're an hour, almost fifty minutes in, and it's like I have really not even gotten to do anything yet. Um, all right, we got Rainfell. Um, let's see. Do I have any extra commands I can put on? 
Barrier Surge? Sure. Guess I'll put a potion. Um, scan is already on. Ball. Um, right? I don't have to manually turn that on. Yeah, it's already on. I already saw the... Okay, that's off. Good. Okay, we're good. And then config. Thank you. All is well. Um, sorry, I missed, I missed Discord's. Um, it's heavily speculated that Chinese Cinderella, the Chinese Cinderella is where the glass slipper originated from due to mistranslation that uh, changed from fur to glass slipper, so that's so interesting. Um, and only Daybreak said it and not PJ. Wow, thank you Daybreak for that fun fact. Um, I do have to get every finish command, yeah. Um, I feel like if you do every encounter once, cage games are generally designed to pace your level as well. Yeah, I think that's true. Um, I think that's probably like how I would do it if I were recommending someone to play it for the first time and be like, all right, don't like worry about grinding, but like if you're going from A to B and you see a Heartless, kill the Heartless, you know? Um, treat it as if you must exterminate them. Um. <laughs> all right, so we're here on very important business today. We have to decide what kind of furniture is going in the gray room, the gray area. Sorry, I haven't gotten the name down either. The castle's new. I just finished paying off the mortgage. But, and it's from a small loan from my father. You never talk about Zemnis' dad, but he's out there. Um, they have parents. We know this. And Zaldan says, I think we should have uncomfortable angular couches for all of us to sit on. And Lexi's is like, I, I see no problem with that. That sounds, that sounds lovely, actually. I just crashed my truck into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Kingdom Hearts version of Ikea. I think that's where they got the, the gray area furniture, is KH Ikea, because that looks very uncomfy. <laughs> Let's also get the lowest coffee table possible. <clears throat> the amount of comfortability we will feel is nothing. Xemnas' dad is Terra, Xehanort's his mom. Yeah, I guess you're not wrong. I guess if you had to pick who Xemnas' dad is, uh, Terra is not the most incorrect option. Um... Yeah, that's Zemnis' truck. I was drinking. I'm sorry, I know it was wrong. <clears throat> Took it for a joyride. Yeah, I want beanbags. Come on. That was like my Titus voice there. My Titus voice, which does not sound like Titus, but... <laughs> Someone called it like the ADD Zoomer Titus voice in the, uh, the FF10 highlights. I need food! Um, is there a trophy for getting every chest? Is that something that's important? I mean, I might as well do it, right? If I see a chest, I'm gonna open it. Alright, maybe I should kill things. I don't know. I'm gonna have trouble with the fucking cursed carriage. Is it, I always forget if it's the coach or the carriage. I think it's the coach. Yo, I can't wait to rank every day in days. Like, I think I'm legit gonna do that. I'm gonna have to play through the game again. I'll probably do it on beginner. Um, just on my own time. Oh! Wow! Yikes. My old man, Terra? It can't be. Thank you for the small loan of a million dollars to purchase the castle that never was. I appreciate that. And that's why you need to level. Otto with the big fat told you so. Um, it's true though. I just, I just, I just want to go. I want to go fast. I want to make progress. I need to get, like, I need to get rid of fucking Quick Blitz, you know, because that's not useful as Aqua. Jeez, he's moving. God, the shot locks load up so slow. Oh, yep, yeah. Spell weave. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm playing the wrong franchise. No, no. Oh God, I'm dying to the mobs. He's dying to the mobs, folks. I mean, it's not critical level one, but I am critical, and it is still level one. I just haven't leveled yet, so. But I figure if I can do this game on critical level one, who needs to level? You know, it's fine. Come on. I hate her finisher, to be honest. Um, it just feels awkward. Like, it just looks like it's never gonna hit. It usually does if you do it close, but it just feels weird. Um, I think I like Venn's the best in terms of the default ones. <clears throat> yeah. 
That's a, that's a rite of passage, we said, Link of Logic, is uh, getting me killed when I read one of your messages. <clears throat> it's not critical level one, but it is critical, and I am level one. Um, it's true. That's a true sentence. It makes no sense, but it, uh, it is true. Alright, let's not get fucking owned by these bunnies. Yeah, quick blitz is just like a waste of time. Oh wait, I can, uh, I should D-Link. Um, although, now I don't have any magic. Oh! Alright. Um, don't I get the, uh, haste, um, upgrade if I- Oh! Fuck you! I keep wanting to call him a Mimi Bunny, but that's a Dream Eater. Um... Stay far away from you. Go! Oh my god, an isolated fucking Shawlock wasn't enough? Alright. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take that as a win. Um... Oh! They're hair razors, yes, thank you. I actually fell for that chest, I thought it was real. It was not. Um, it's Ruthie! Ruthie, we just had huge Cinderella discourse that you missed. Oh, wonderful dream. Um, we'll have to go back in the VOD about like 10-15 minutes for that. Um, yeah, I died a lot. Um, I died twice, right? Or maybe three times? I did die to Ven in the tutorial, but I was, I was like half in on that. Um, yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Time to go murder Lee Tremaine. I gotta find a Moogle. I wanna buy stuff, like I don't want Glit Blitz. Oh wait, he's right here. Um, how much money do I have though? Yeah, I'm not exactly loaded. Um, like I'd rather just have like another Thunder or Blizzard, um, but I can't afford it. Can I maybe sell? Any panaceas yet? No. Um. God, I just remembered all of the fucking command melding we're gonna have to do. Um, well, I'm, I'll just take Quick Blitz out and put Slow in. And level that up. Um. I don't need Blizzard. I could put... I don't have anything else to level yet. Alright, once I get some stuff to sell or I kill more mobs, I will, uh, buy some more commands, I think. -na 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 -na. <clears throat> Here we go. Time to get small. I'm having another truffle. Yeah, Aquarella is based. The true OTP. Yo, bars? It's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. No? FG Ma? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I I'm going fucking nuts, damn Bob. The dreams come true. <laughs> then I'm chocolatey honored. goodness. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark It is kind of weird. There's no Gus Gus. Sadly, like, I feel like Gus Gus is just as iconic as Jacques. If not more. Qualities that appear to you as light. Um... Light and dark go Just have them both, you know? Can't have one without the other. Less lines for Jacques. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. Oh, uh, Ruthie. The conversation about Cinderella's age is more so as the story. Like, how old is the story? That's what we were talking about. Ven took Gus's role. I, I got to draw, huh? my magic to help, Jacques. Come back and see me when you're ready. Yeah, Ven killed Gus. The crimes. She's a stone cold killer. She's so powerful. Send me in. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Almost over did ask how old the character is. Try not to move in this section. Jacques only stops if they're unversed, and unversed only spawns if Aqua moves. So don't move, and Jacques will go ahead on his own? Really? That seems fake, but I'll try. Shock is just muttering all the the old man's curses from Christmas Story. Not a finger. Are you okay? 
Didn't uh, Fairy Goblin there? She had a very high kill count, yeah. I want to say she... I mean, I think she killed at least three people. Um, including... I want to say she killed Yen Sid. Oh, no, no, she's teamed up with Yen Sid. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to go back in that bod. Only he didn't say fudge. See, like, you play as Ven, like, they want you to play as Ven first, but this is way more interesting. Like, oh, Ven bet Jacques, that's fun. But you already know that when you're playing as Aqua. So, yeah, this is an illusion to the fact that Jacques is a Keyblade Builder. He's just very tiny. Ven, you must have just missed Do you think of the main trio, of each main trio, is Ven the least popular of all nine? Like, I could see Ven beating Naminé, which I, I would not personally have, but... Um, like, you would have to think, out of Sora, Riku, Kairi, Terra, Aqua, Ven, Rox, Saxel, Shion, Ven's gotta be ninth, right? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'd have him ninth, but... He probably is. For me, he probably is. Um, wait, wait, don't move, sorry. Don't move at all. And and Jock will just go. Right, so I gotta get rid of these guys. But after that, I gotta stay over here. I'm curious to test this out. Well, um, Jayhani, Boy Green, thank you for the uh, Jayhoni. Thank you for the follow there. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, well, he sure doesn't move. Let me, uh... Get slowed down, idiot! Don't let Jacques be murdered, bars filling up. Oh, wow, he straight up just does go. He'll just fuck off without you. Stop it! Only I can bully Jacques. I would have said Ven Knight, but then he pulled the, the glowing aura, immediately Rex Darkness, uh, the Darkness God thing in UX, and now I have no idea. But it's like, if it's not Ven, who is it? You know? That's my thing. Um. <clears throat> like, if I were to rank the trio, all nine of them, like all nine, or all three of the trios, um. I mean, Axel's my personal favorite. I don't think he's, like, the best written character, but I always, you know, I always had fun with him in uh, Common, too. Um, so mine probably is something like, like, Axel, Roxas, Riku, um, or something, like, something in that. That's, like, my top three for sure. But then the middle section, like, Sora is maybe up there. Sora and Terra and Aqua... Xion probably deserves to be higher than most of the Wayfinders, if not all of them. Does she? I don't know. It's tough. It's a tough exercise. I really, I can't even uh, force myself to do it. Um, that is correct, a Cools guy. At least in this, he does. Um, obviously not in the original movie, but uh, I don't know if he's like the official voice for him in like the Disney capacity now. I wouldn't be surprised though. Xion is bottom, like pit bottom. Well, wow. below Ven. <laughs> um, like, for me personally, like, not judging it, but, like, how well I think the character is written, just, like, if I like them, if I find them interesting, I'd probably go Axel, Riku Roxas, Terra, Sora, Aqua, Shion, Kyrie, Ven. Maybe swap Kyrie with Shion. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, would it, uh, I, I just would think, I think Terra's right fun. I, uh, I think, like, if I had to put them in the tiers, Terra and Aqua would be in the same tier for me. Um, but... That's not my fault, that's Nemur's fault. I should at least be given a chance to try <clears throat> Who are um, you? Hey, listen, and I put Ven at the bottom, alright? <laughs> She's probably here to rob us. <clears throat> That girl does not live here. I have only She's probably here to rob us. I believe Bitch, do I look like I want to rob you? Regardless, she means no harm. The castle she comes from is much cooler, so. 
Here you are, my dear. Someone put Riku in the bottom, cause chaos. Jack. Hurry. Yeah, Ven does Ven does have gender. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Grace, please wait. May I try bum, it on? Bum. Hi, Cindy. No yeah, look at the fucking that. rose in the glass uh, back there. She's just an imaginative child. That's like uh Madam, Beast Castle synergy. Every, maiden. every fucking maiden. Place. Yeah, look. Thank you. They hold hands, she slaps her butt. <clears throat> I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. It's so weird that she backs up like that, like she's a villain. I always thought that was such a weird thing. Thanks for teaching Tara to believe. And she just like... <laughs> Bye. You clumsy bitch! Please, don't worry. Like, if you do that, that's a villain move. For sure. I have the other slipper. That's weird. I think that was like a weird foot fetish thing that the Grand Duke sort of disguised as pure joy. Um, he like really, he was fucking tonguing that shoe. Why was it silent? Don't kiss it. Yeah, what are you gonna do next? Smell it? Smell her hair? I must inform the prince immediately. You will get wrecked, Tremaine. I'd be happy to. He's sniffing that slipper. Yeah, for sure. The Grand Duke would go around sniffing the maiden's feet. That's such a Grand Duke thing to do. No. Cinderella That's the last spoken line of the movie. Place. That is a fun fact, huh? Because you would think maybe we talk about like the impending marriage or whatever, but um, never say tonguing that shoe again. Was it tonguing that shoe is the phrase? Don't say tonguing that shoe. Now I'm, now I'm hearing tonguing that shoe to the tune of running up that hill. Um. <laughs> yeah, I am. I, I, I sure am, Baka. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not letting it go. Everyone was so rude to me. Everyone was so so hard on me. Shoes do have tongues, yeah. That's true. So, I guess it's okay. There's nothing like a good old consensual hair sniff. That's that's all been well established. <laughs> Alright, we're saving. Oh, it, that's what it was. It was because I, I uh, chopped my beard off and I put it in a bag as a goof. And everybody yelled at me. <laughs> and it was this game too. Every time we start a, a BBS stream, there's like a controversial hair thing that I do. <clears throat> um, that was like January of uh, this year. <laughs> I want to smell that, holy shit. Listen, it probably smells disgusting because she's dragging it around the fucking marsh, you know? Um, so. Here we go. The fucking stepsisters get firebombed to death. Ah, cries of agony and the butt slap. Ready? Here we go. Go. Cake. 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 <laughs> um. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Carpet bombing in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> All right. Defeat the unversed. Um. Listen, I got I gotta share my life with the stream. You know, keep it everything to myself. That's no fun. <laughs> like, I guess, to me, that's like the most normal thing on Earth, so that's why I did not think twice about it being something that was uh, something you should or should not share. I was like, yeah, of course you would. Why, why wouldn't you? Um, we spend, like, a ton of time together, like... It just hits different. <clears throat> like, if you're, like, hugging a parent and you're sniffing their hair, that's kind of weird. Um, but, you know. Um, yeah, I should. I should have donated that to, uh, like, Beard Locks of Love. But I threw it in the trash. My, a year of progress wasted. All of 2021. Down the drain. I guess it just, yeah, I guess it just sounds weird. But yeah, without the context of, like, you know, the relationship and, um, damn, I died. I don't have a death counter for this, so, um, oops. <clears throat> I would have one of the worst rankings for the Disney princesses. Um, hmm. Okay, can I get the lineup? Disney princess lineup. 
let's see. Um, now, full disclosure, I have not watched Princess and the Frog, Pocahontas, and everything else. I've, I mean, a lot of the older ones I've only seen once. Um, okay. Number one, probably Mulan. I mean, she just fucking gets shit done, you know? Um, Mulan. We'll do tiers, right? Like, I think you gotta have Mulan top tier, and then maybe not quite the same tier, but, like, right next to that is, like, I think Moana and Rapunzel are both really fun. Um, Merida. I guess Merida as a character. I like Merida as a character more than I like Brave the movie. So she'd probably be up there. Um, like, I don't really, like, I think there's a drop-off then, and then it's, like, Jasmine, Ariel. I'm not gonna include Tiana and Pocahontas, because I haven't seen those. Um, and then I think I'd probably go, oh no, sorry, sorry, I missed Belle. Belle is, like, above most of those. So Mulan and Belle are, like, S tier for me, and then Rapunzel, Moana tier, and then, like, Ariel, Jasmine tier, and then I think it's probably Cinderella, Aurora, Snow White. Maybe Snow White over Aurora. Uh, it's, it's tough. And then, if I had to guess, based on what I know of Tiana and Pocahontas, I think Tiana would probably be around that Rapunzel Moana tier, and Pocahontas probably in like that Ariel Jasmine tier. I don't know. Pure utter shit. Sorry, I, I really don't care. Like I couldn't care less. Um, <laughs> Snow White over Aurora. I mean, they're both asleep a lot. Um, I guess Aurora is asleep for more of it, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. Boom boom. Like, all of the 40s, 50s princesses, like, they're, I guess, 30s. Um, I don't know if Raya is in the lineup, and uh, Elsa and Anna are, are their own thing, so they're not in the lineup, but I'm not sure where I'd put them either. Um, bow, bow, bow. If Raya's in there, I haven't seen that in full either, so I don't know. Um, bow, bow, bow. Of course, Pat puts the princess that spends most of the movie as a man at the top. Listen, I, I just admire her tenacity, to quote Xehanort. Um, she fucking kicks ass. Merida kicks ass too, um, but mostly, like, archery ass. I don't remember if she fights anybody. Um, I mean, Milan fucking saved China. None of the other princesses saved China, okay? Um, so, let's rice stand on that. And Moana saved uh, her fucking island. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I'm not going to be swayed on Mulan uh, not being top tier. Like, Mulan and, and Belle are definitely, um, yeah, ripe for the bagging. <laughs> yeah, I can bag that hair. Yeah, fuck! Oh, jeez. Best singing voice? Yeah, I, I, I have no judge of that. Like, I, you know, I don't care. Yeah, you know what? Carly raises a great point. Why are we putting women against each other? Why are we doing that? Milan is better at King Arthur. You know what? I agree. Especially because um, Sword in the Stone fucking blows. I hate that movie. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's just like very boring. Um, all right, I need to. I need to focus. This has been a very much a vibe stream. I got to get back in the swing of things. You know. All right. Oh. Oh. Fuck me. I think if I get hit once, that's it for me. Um. Well, I think you could say that for a lot of... I mean, not Mulan. Uh, I would say uh, Mulan definitely beats Shanyu. But a lot of the Disney villains are better than their protagonist, their respective protagonist. Like, you take Ursula over Ariel every day. Um, Scar over Simba. Um, let me think. Let me think about the princesses specifically. Like, I think Lady Tremaine is even more fun than Cinderella. She's just like a fucking evil bitch, <laughs> you know? Um, I guess you probably take Pocahontas over Governor Ratcliffe. Um, the Queen is definitely more fun than Snow White. Um, you probably put... I mean, I think you can make a case for Aladdin over Jafar. Um, you could probably make a case for... I think Rapunzel is more fun than Mother Gothel. I mean, Moana is more fun than the... I can't remember the name of the big giant thing, because that's not really a, a main focal character. Um, Merida is better than the bear. The evil bear. 
Um, Maleficent's definitely better than Aurora and Philip, you know? So a lot of the times, Gaston and Belle, that's probably closer, but I think Belle is a more um, full character than Gaston, so you might find Gaston more amusing or more entertaining, though. Uh, Mowgli better than Shere Khan? Um, Hades definitely better than Hercules, yeah. Um, Taka, there you go. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so I think I think a lot of the time the, the villain is more interesting, <clears throat> and their designs are just more fun, usually. Um, uh, Yzma better than Cusco, yep. Hades not better than Meg. Um, I find Meg a little grating after a while, like when it's all snark. Um, I mean she's she's fun. She's better than Hercules. Hercules is kind of a nothing to me. Um, but like her whole shtick is the snark. It's like all right. Wow, that's objectively not true, because I had fucking Mulan at number one, and she's the strongest out of everybody. So, oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> if anything, I had all of the women who spend the whole movie asleep at the bottom of my list. Right? I had Aurora and Snow White at the fucking bottom, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't win! I had Ping at number one? I don't remember saying that. Jesus Christ. Um, I should have, uh, taken slow out of my deck. That's gonna be no help. Alright, let's start guarding. Yeah, let's do turnover. I forgot that was a thing. You do pumpkin turnover. Boom. Oh, bitchered. We can make this happen. I just need to focus. Stay away from the thorn bites. Um... No, I like Snark, but when, like, your whole fucking personality is Snark and eye rolls, um, you know. <clears throat> so. Pumpkin did look kind of sad. Like, imagine how grating it would be to be, like, in a room with Meg for 24 hours, you know? Every fucking thing, every anecdote is met with an eye roll, a hair flip, and a snarky comment, you know? <clears throat> oh, she's a lot of Snark. Um, she's like 80% snark. I won't say all. She has like her genuine emotional moments, like in character moments. Um, but I think it's mostly snark. That's like her defining thing. Um, I, I, I keep going to do my, uh, fucking death counter. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but the Meg from KH is like, they, they overcorrected on that. Where it's like, now she has no snark. She says nothing fun or interesting at all. So... Listen, I would still put Meg above most of those Disney princesses that I ranked. I'd probably put Meg um, higher than uh, um, at least half of them. So, like, I'd, I'd rather uh, watch Meg in a movie than Jasmine or Ariel, uh, Cinderella, Aurora, Snow White. I would assume Pocahontas, um, Merida. So, I don't even know why we got uh, <laughs> onto the Meg train. <laughs> But yeah, I would I would say Hercules is probably out of the main characters, probably the most boring character in Hercules. So. Um, oh yeah, I've seen videos of the Meg character at the parks, and that's uh, she always seems fun. <clears throat> Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Listen, it's been a while since I've watched Hercules. Maybe maybe the snark in my mind is over. Snated. Oh, over-snated? Overstated. Um, because it's, it's been a minute since I've seen that one, so. <clears throat> was there a Hercules TV show, and was she in that? Fuck! I can't tell when this thing's going to attack. Uh, she's not in it? Okay. I will say this, like, it, she's a breath of fresh air from a lot of other characters, so. <clears throat> Alright, let's focus. What's up, Fruitune? Boom! Turnover! I was close-ish the one time. Like, we can make this happen. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's do our shot lock. Shoot the bubbles. 
It is not a level 1 run, but I am level 1 right now. Um, so, figure that. Come here! Okay, this is super doable. Oh, but you don't get experience for... Do you get experience for killing the bosses? Is that not a thing? Fuck! Oh! oh. <coughs> like, I know you get, like, bonuses and prizes, I think, but I don't know if you get experience. I feel like there's one game where you, when you kill the bosses, you don't actually get experience. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just, like, making that up out of nowhere. I could have sworn there was one game where it's like, yeah, you get bonuses, but not actual experience. Earlier FF games? That can't be what I'm thinking of, but maybe. <laughs> Like, can I get, like, three levels off this guy, potentially? Alright. Guard! Wait. He didn't fucking land on me. Idiot. Come here! Land! Land! Oh, fucker! There we go. Oh, I have not leveled up yet. Yeah, I guess if we ever beat him, we'll know. Yeah. Oh, slow's not gonna help. Alright, I need to be prepared. I'm gonna potion. Oh, no. I gotta use this time to do damage. Alright, back up, back up. Let's posh. Okay. Let's shot lock. <laughs> oh, please don't hurt me when it's over. Nope, nope. Shoot the blizzard. I'll just shoot blizzards at him until he's dead. TBH. Oh, no! Okay, wait. Okay, push. I'm very afraid of him. God, doing physicals is not even worth your while. Alright. No. No? Fuck. Why am I doing it then? Okay. He's close, he's close. We got this. Come on! Shoot some more bubbles! Are they not reaching? He ate them. He ate the bubbles. Alright. I'm just playing it very safe. Yeah. Fuck you. You're done. Look at that. See, I got a bonus, but no level. It just makes me think that, uh... That there's no... Um... Oh yeah, the D-Link heals, yeah. Like, you would think I would have gotten, like, an actual level there? Everyone calm down. I don't know what's going on, but everyone relax. <laughs> <clears throat> um, this is nice. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Hate me. Director hated me. Whatever's happening, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's sniffing her hair, yeah. See, that would be weird. If you just met her, and you're sniffing her hair, that'd be weird. Um, but nine months in, I, th I think it's okay. <laughs> um, I know in Cage 2, that's what I thought. You don't get experience from Cage 2 bosses. Um, I know you do in 1, and I'm, I'm not sure if you do in 3. Uh, Peppermint Cutie, thank you for the nine months. <clears throat> bow, bow, bow. Let me crack my jaw. Oh, love that. That was a one, one and done right there. I'm sorry if you heard that, if it was unpleasant, but I had to do it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've done that on stream like a million times. I just don't often announce it. Um, so... Um, now we can do Castle of Dreams Command Board! Woo! We're gonna be doing it a lot, so... Where to next? Um, I can't. It has to, like, refresh. It's like when you, when you, uh, crack your fingers, your knuckles. Um, does she ever find out the answer to that? I, I gotta be honest, was not paying attention to the, uh, to the cutscene. I actually cannot crack my back. Um, I can't do that, or, like, the neck and the, the head thing. Um... But I can crack all my knuckles, my toes. 
I can, like, crack my knees if I, like, turn them inwards. If I, like, uh, kind of go uh, bow-legged. But, um, yeah, I can do my wrists. But not my back. Not my neck. Not my back. What were those next two? I always forget. Someone will have to help me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um, is that a thing, Everkey? <laughs> pussy! <laughs> Auto loudly typing pussy in chat. Kraken! That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Auto and Fruitune. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Auto. Um, I can crack my spine, but only the one time. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing about cracking the spine. You're a pussy, cat, and crack cocaine. <laughs> Thank you. What has happened here? Um, did that scene have no dialogue? Wait, what scene? Let me just watch. Weren't they talking? I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like so uh, half invested in the cutscene because this will be the second time I've watched them just for stream this year. Boom, boom. Oh, Snowy getting poisoned? Did the queen didn't say anything? I could have sworn she said like, "Here you go." I'm old. She sniffed our hair too. It was weird. <laughs> Disney asked this scene to be altered. Tell me more, PJ. Ha! That's not. That's literally not true. It was the the chat voted for the PPS plot run. We gave them a ton of options, and they wanted that. Um, so, you blew the chat. Listen, there's a meme every stream, and this one we have we have that one established. Isn't there some way we can help her? You wanted me to play? Oh yeah, some people voted for a cage two feet percent, but that's uh, they lost. So. The only time I've disagreed with democracy recently is when people wanted me to voice characters that I couldn't voice at length for Cage Among Us. Originally they had hats on, and Disney was like, can you take them off please? Oh, to show respect, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, Carly was the mod who ran the polls, and Carly was rooting for a foot percent, but the people, people voted for the plat run, so. I'm fine with it. I, I would would have been happy doing either. I mean, I probably would have been less happy doing the cage 2 foot percent, because it's cage 2, and it's also my feet, so. It's devastating. Yeah, it is. Well, it's not, it's not to say we'll never do that. Um, yeah, foot percent is when I play through the game with my feet. Uh, nobody sees my feet. That doesn't happen. But uh, we did it with cage 1. You can actually see on the second channel. Um, highlights on the main channel. Dark road foot percent? I don't even want to do dark road hand percent. I hardly even want to do Dark Road I percent where I just watch it, um, but that's just me. Because I'm a Cage fan and I hate reading. I'm just going to go in the cottage, help myself to your refreshments. Um, thanks. <clears throat> um, it's not level 1, but I am level 1 still. <laughs> the intent is not to be a level 1 run, but I have yet to level. So... Um, I didn't get any from uh, Cursed Coach, so everyone said, yeah, of course you get levels, That's but I don't think you do from joke. bosses in this game. Yo, it's joke time. Um, why did the ginger, uh, what did the gingerbread man put on his bed? Um, what did the gingerbread man put on his bed? Sheets, pillows, covers, blankets. Um, Aqua's weird jittery model right now. Um... Sheets, pillows, blankets, marsh, marshmallow, marsh pillow, it doesn't work. Sheet, bread, gumdrops, icing. Mm, I don't know. Cookie sheet, fuck, cookie sheet, of course. Baking sheet, yeah. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. I, I knew it was going to be sheet something, but I couldn't think of like how to tie it into gingerbread. Um. <laughs> Did I save in here yet? Wow. Um, see you, Dan Bob. It's past Dan Bob's bedtime. Have a good night. 
Um, so what's the boss in this one? It's, uh... Oh, it's the Magic Mirror. Oh yeah, her, her run is like a fucking straight shot to the chamber. It's kind of boring. I'm just gonna open these chests and fight the mirror. Alright, well you know what? Let's try to get the fucking Ven D-Link. But it's hard because I'm stuck with all these fucking physical commands. But that'll help me level up. Oh no, the Mickey one is the double EXP. This is haste. But I gotta get some fucking levels. I got that at least. Now if I die, I'm not gonna keep that, am I? Should probably leave with this, but now I can fucking do work. <laughs> the gingerbread man failed his drug test because he was baked. Well done. Oh no! Oh fuck! I should have left. I should have left. I'm still level one. Like this is pathetic. Fuck! I tried to press triangle again on that. Get fucked. I'm working on it here. I'm just gonna probably do the same thing again. And get fucked again by the bruiser. Only after getting the fucking haste from the Ven dealing. Oh! <clears throat> I do not have zero XP equipped. Yeah, I checked. Um. Which NPCs are the best to have in your party in Cage? Some like Cage One Beast are amazing in Cage Two. Jack Sparrow seems very mediocre. Yeah, to be honest, like I always just roll with Donald and Goofy. Like in One and Two, like I really don't care about having the other ones. Um, I always liked Beast in Cage One. If I, you know, for the time you had to use him, um, I thought Ariel was pretty good in Cage One. Um, Tarzan for Stealth Sneak is especially good. I was never huge on Aladdin. Um, Jack Skellington, like, I like, but as a party member, I don't know how useful he was. Like, I just never really paid that a ton of mind, I guess. Um, even less... Fuck, even less so with Cage 2 Yeah, Tron is pretty good. Um, Simba is, is good, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, Tarzan can do Arrow and Cure. So can, um, Ariel, I think. I think she has, and she uses Thunder. Alright, let's try this again. Um... <laughs> Hi, my name is Zemnis, and today I am an undercover boss pretending to be a mechanic named Paul. I am just here in the hallways of the castle that never was, observing the day-to-day -day life and trying to blend in and see what my comrades, my peons, truly think of me. Um, although, who would he talk to as a mechanic? Like, I feel like everyone would just kind of, like, look down on Paul the Mechanic. Like, do you think, like, fucking Vexen is going to give Paul the Mechanic the time of day? Or, like, Zexion? Lexis isn't going to say anything. Um, <laughs> I'm fixing the elevator. I'm tired of taking these long stairs, just like in Radiant Garden. God, what a boring fucking cutscene that was. Yeah, I guess Demix would. <laughs> wow, Zemnis sure is cool, isn't he? How long have you worked for him? Oh, about, about a couple of years, but, like, the benefits are bad, the furniture's shitty, we have very little PTO, and honestly, he's just kind of a dick. He has no sense of humor, um, he got me a shitty, he got me a fucking Starbucks gift card for Christmas, like, I don't, I, I get donkeys, I, I don't get Starbucks. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> we all know that Paul is Zemnis. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, where are the broken water pipes? I don't fucking know. Oh, a guy's elements water, so I, you think I, I know where the fucking pipes are? You think I know anything about plumbing? <laughs> I get donkeys. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I, I don't even know. Like, I, I feel like uh, I'm just, like, so frail. Um, I need to get a couple of levels. Like, Aqua's early game, especially on crit and at level 1, is just brutal. Um, and I just, like, cannot make a dent in this shit. I'm also, like, really more into the chat than the game today, so... Excuses, excuses. Can I at least get the auto haste back? Please. Like, I'm just fucking dying to mobs. Focus. Pay attention. Do the video game. It's time. Okay. Alright, be careful with big boy. He's a bruiser. Let's shot lock him. Like, I gotta get a fucking level. 
please. Strike raid does fucking uh, piddly damage. Come on! Thank you. Like, should I leave after that? Like, because <laughs> if I die now, I'm going to lose all that progress. My dealing gauge is going to run out, but it's like, I'm very liable to die. And... Lapux. <laughs> Applux. My name is Applux. Lapux? 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 Yeah, um, I would workshop it. I'm not sold on it yet, but... Um, no, there was a whole thing that we talked about on stream about, like, New Jersey people calling it donkeys, and then the people, they were from New Jersey, were like, no, we don't. Um, I never said that. It was just, like, something we came across. I think it was on stream. Maybe it was somewhere else. <clears throat> no, I call it fucking Dunkin' or Dunkin' Donuts. But I like the idea of, uh, of Demix calling it donkeys. <clears throat> yeah, donkeys. <laughs> it was, like, a meme or something that I saw. And then someone was like, no, nobody in, in Jersey calls it donkeys, but I think it's very funny. Get slowed down. Wow. Oh! Please don't get hit by the slow down shockwave. Okay, next level four. I have to get four experience points. <clears throat> well, didn't they actually drop the donuts, or is that like a marketing stunt that they didn't actually go through with? There we go, my magic's increased, fucking finally. It's just Duncan now, yeah. Well, remember when they were like, oh, IHOP is, uh... What was it? Like, they were they were burgers instead of pancakes? They were like, International House of Burgers? But that was like, all bullshit? Or something? Am I, I'm not making that up, right? That happened. All yours, Frosty. Level two run now. Frosty? Frosty's here? Is that true? Yo, yeah, we're talking about donkeys? <laughs> IHOB, yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep uh, battering these enemies. Maybe I can get to level three. I mean, 30? How much do I get for one flood? And that was 80, right? I get one experience per flood. How much for uh, Red Hot Chili? Two. I think two per red hot chili. Ow. God. Yeah, I'm gonna deal link again. Come here, you. You know what? I wasn't a big Yoohoo guy. Um, I never got into the Yoohoo. I like chocolate milk. But, um, I don't know, it's never something that was in the house. So, maybe I'm missing out. Bow, bow, bow. Um, I, I did like the Nesquik on one occasion. It wasn't like a, a, a frequent thing, but it happened. <clears throat> right, I'm, but I'm saying like, you know, it's adjacent to that. Um, you who tastes like liquid plastic? Jeez. That's what somebody said about the... The Blazin' Buffalo and Ranch Doritos, but I tried those, and I thought they were pretty good. Um, it, it was like it was burning plastic or something, someone said. <clears throat> um, Regular GF and I did record a, a patron-exclusive um, Dorito taste test video, but um, I still have to edit that. But one of those was the, the light blue Doritos, the Blazin' Buffalo and Ranch. And somebody warned me that it was going to taste shitty, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, but hopefully I'll have that out in a few days. Alright, I'm in the flower glade. Let's just see how badly Magic Mirror whips my ass. The prince is here. The prince. Is something wrong? <laughs> Everyone get your stinker book. It's my stinker book. And I can't find the princess um, hear her beautiful voice. Bow. Yeah, I like Cool Ranch a lot. Um, that's a definitely a top tier Dorito flavor. You mean you know when you think about it, there's not a ton unless you like really. And I had to, I paid a lot of money for these fucking Doritos again. Um, there's some weirdo ones. Maybe I could show you some. Did I show these off on stream? These incognito one, incognito rather. Um, these ones tasted like I think curry is the mystery flavor. And then I have pizza ones. 
These ones were both imported from Mexico. These were kind of underwhelming. So, um, yeah, I think it was like mystery flavor, and it was like it was like black pepper, but like barbecue, but also like kind of sweet and kind of tangy. And someone online said maybe it's curry. Um, so that was it was truly an experience. I don't have air slide yet, do I? I can't cheese this if I wanted to. Yeah, that's the thing, like, I'm not, like, a huge fucking Doritos stan, either. Um, like, I like them, but it's not, like, my favorite chip or snack. Um, but for some reason, it became a thing that we, uh, we've done two videos now, ranking Doritos. Alright, I don't have, uh, my finish commands up, too. Okay. This, this is gonna be, like, the endless playthrough. Considering how fucking slowly I move through the game, um... I might have to elect to skip the cutscenes because, like, we're gonna be hitting all the same commentary and the same beats from the first time we went through less than a year ago at this point, and uh, it might just be holding us up. I don't know. If it's an interesting cutscene, maybe we'll watch it. Rank Mountain Dews. I think I've only ever had like four different. I know I've had the you know the classic Code Red. I've had like the blue ginseng one. Um, there was like a fucking Fourth of July one. I did not have the Mountain Dew fruitcake, whatever that one was. Um, don't skip memorize, obviously. Of course not. Um, I never, uh, have I had Baja Blast? I don't know if I have. Which seems like a crime. Um, I'm not even a huge, like, I, I, you know, I enjoy a Mountain Dew from time to time, but not like, uh, I think orange soda is my preferred soda. And I prefer Sprite to Mountain Dew. But I don't think there's a ton of uh, fun sprite variants. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, final decision on skip cutscenes. Yeah, I might override it. Nobody wants me to do it, but I'm just like, wow, well, we gotta move. Um, or else we'll be playing this until fucking April. Bow, 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 bow. And I gotta, like, do more killing. Maybe this will be a game where I do some off screen, off stream grinding. Because, uh, at least there's no level master Terra Aqua Vent trophies. That would suck. Um, that would be nigh impossible. Listen, if a bruiser's there to kill, I gotta take it. I only have 15 until the next level. Alright, I will try to level up again before we fight Magic Mirror. Because they probably wanted you to be at least level 3 for the fucking Cursed Coach. And I biffed that. So we're playing a little bit of catch up here just to make this doable. The voice actors worked hard on the cutscenes. You're right, you're right. But listen, they worked hard on the battle grunts too. It's probably way more hard to deliver the battle grunts than the the lines. Also, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. The brain fog. I'm, I'm blaming it again on the brain fog. Um, oh, I went into first person by accident. I'm stuck on my thing here. <laughs> Give Aqua a lucky egg to level up, yeah. Just, um, put her in the party next to Macargo's. Oh, wait, no, that's for, <laughs> that's for hatching. Uh, Aqua does not need to hatch. She's already hatched. Um, I got another level. That's exciting. I was thinking of like uh, the, the Pokemon that have flame body. You put the uh, the egg in the party with them, and that uh, cuts the, ha the hatch time down to half. I think <laughs> you cannot you cannot hatch Aqua faster. She's unfortunately already fully formed, but that would be nice. Run, run away! This is a spider, right? This one up here. This is a fucking spider. Yeah, that's a spider. I've unlocked the spiders. This one's not a spider, though, is it? It fucking is! Jesus! Alright. I'm gonna continue on here. Um, you can order chips that taste like illegal flavors, as in food's not legally available in the U.S.? God, I wish I would have known about that before I'd spent, like, so much money on the Doritos. But, but yeah, please send it to me. Um, it is Australia because that's a fucking spider. <laughs> it's true. Um, let me see here.
Bananan. Here we go. Yeah, I want to link to the chip black market. Um, thank you so much, Everkey. Uh, yeah, happy women's history year. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me, I won't show them all, but I'll tell you the, the list of flavors that we had. We had the pizza ones from Mexico, the mystery incognito ones from Mexico. We had two cans, they're like Pringle cans, but they're like Doritos minis, and they're just like little bitches inside the cans. Flamin' Hot Limon White Cheddar Organic. That one sucked. Um, we have uh, Tangy Tamarind and Tangy Ranch. Um, cheddar and Jalapeno. Blazin' Buffalo and Ranch. And I think that's it. Um, that should have been 10 that I just listed. Um, so, there were some weirdo ones. Yeah, I'm spoiling the content. <laughs> but, yeah, the reason you never heard of them is because they're fucking not available uh, in most places. Like, regular GF got a bunch of them um, in her state, which is not that far away from me. But um, I don't see any of those ones that she brought me um, in, in stores. So, um, And a lot of them I had to get off of uh, the internet. So... There are a ton of obscure Dorito flavors. In fact, we saw some in a mall recently, too. Um, I wish we would have grabbed them. We hadn't, we hadn't thought to do the that video at the time, but... Yo, what's up, Splash? Alright, time to get fucking chinned to death by the mirror. <clears throat> uh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I pressed square, I swear. Uh, just me getting chinned to death by the mirror, as I predicted. <clears throat> Best to beware. Mana. The unblockable chin move. No. <clears throat> I want to get those fucking pitch black Doritos from Japan. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Bruh. Okay, Blizzard did a decent chunk there. There you go. There you go. That not hit sucks if true. What? Is this what? One sec. I gotta find the smiley boy. Here he is. What are you smiling about, punk? Um, would you sniff his chin? I would not. That I would not do. Um, a because I don't think it would smell particularly nice, and B because I don't know this man. Um, and uh, who knows where he's been? I also have Rona, so I don't want to get him sick. As much as I don't like him, as much as I hate the spirit of the magic mirror. Fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> that was scary. Um. All right. He smiles. He smiles. Come here. Oh god. Was I supposed to block those? Oh, I watched Face Off by the way recently. Um, I don't know why. I was just like, I want to watch Face Off, which I had never seen before. That was fucking nuts. Um, <laughs> the uh, John Travolta, Nicolas Cage Face Off. Um, what a bonkers movie. Um, I should have put, I should have David watch that, if that's not one of the ones on David Russell's list. Um, that should be a, a Requiem movie night movie. Wait, was that him there? No. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm losing it. <clears throat> there he is. Fucking lay down! Oh, I thought he was going to fall. Best beware. Okay. Fuck you. Alright, circle. Should I block these fireballs? Yeah, that's probably these. Oh, but then... There we go. Very well. Wait, she's saying farewell, but I always thought she was saying very well. <laughs> Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right. Um, oh, it is on David's list. Okay, yeah. I, I would like to watch David watch Face Off. <laughs> um, that'll be fun. Oh fuck! All right, at least I didn't die. A blockable chin move that I've definitely blocked before, but it's unblockable. Oh fuck! I'm confused. Ow! I tried to fucking. Ugh. All right. Block. Does it not work? Wait, okay, come on. This is gonna take forever. Maybe I... Like, I wanna do magic attacks because, uh... 
that seem to do more damage, but I don't get as many opportunities to hit, so I should probably just stick to the physicals, as slow as it feels. Alright, Spellweaver. No, the chin! Fuck. I lost my Spellweaver. Oh, there we go. Alright, we can do this. Oh, fuck! Alright. You can't block those? That's nuts. Oh, I tried to do it again like an idiot. Ah. Uh. Alright, smiley. Smiley boy, where are you? Hello. Did I fucking take a wrong turn? There he is. Mm. Fuck you. Ah, balls. Alright. Sorry, I'm in focus mode. I'm in boring focus mode. Nice. Oh, we got this. Here comes the hubris. Alright. Just watch out for the chin move. No, not today! <clears throat> Okay. Circle. Oh, no, 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 no! Fuck! Okay, you gotta cartwheel away from these. I've used all my potions, I think. I have one left. Alright, those must be cartwheeled. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, you're done. No, come on, you're done! Oh, fuck you! No. Alright. Let's block this. Alright, come on. Now you're done. Oh! Alright. Yeah, you're definitely not getting uh, experience points for that, so. Whew. Mirror attacking women during Wins History Month? Ooh, yeah, Renewal Barrier. That would be sick. Um, I gotta go through Enchanted Dominion stall. Which, we'll start that. I think getting through all three princess worlds would be good. Victorious World confirmed for KH4. Trina Vega party member? You go to Chicago? Chicago, rather? Um, yeah, I can't believe Aqua's anti-mask. Wow. You would have thought, but... In my pandemic uh, video, she was um, she was like a healthcare worker. Um, my aqua impression. I mean, I don't think any of my impressions are good. Um, people just like when I do them. That's that's what that's how it is in my brain, at least. Um, aqua impression is probably on the lower half because it's just me doing like going like this. And it's also my Aerith impression. They're both whispery. It's probably my Keynote impression too. Keynote's got a little more, a little more fire to him, but um, I do a great Dylan and Alias as well. Princess. Then I'll wake, I'll wake you up one day. Something like that. Shoves everyone out of the way. <laughs> capital T, the capital P Prince. You're awake. How great. Um. I guess I'm done here. Let's go get married? That's it. This is great. Everyone's together again. Leon compliment. Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> um, yeah. That's 
move, I'm gay. It's just like a miracle. <laughs> yeah, I actually voiced Aerith in Cage too. Bow, 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 bow. Um, my Aerith sounds like Moira Rose. I don't know who that is, PJ, and you know that. Bow. Then you're awake. Does it's a miracle. You wake up? Bow, bow, wow, wow. <laughs> Peter Otto just sent me a screen cap of happy, looking very happy. Thanks, Otto. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Otto. Yeah, I also voiced Captain Jack in Cage 2, and I also voiced uh, Zack in the new Crisis Corps. So. Oh, it's a miracle. Um. Oh, no, I uh, I know Shit's Creek. Um, I haven't watched it, but I'm aware of it. Um, I know my mom likes it. Huh. Um... Everyone gets keys. Oh. I also voice Titus in FF10. My mom is the true ally, yeah. She's uh she's ahead of the curve, you know. My old man. Yeah, she's sniffing their bald heads. You think Dopey smells like a baby? Like a bald little baby. <clears throat> Journey. Yeah, to go back to, to sniffing, um, everyone says the babies smell good. Uh, like, the smell of babies. I, I think, wouldn't babies smell like fucking shit and spit up food? Um, I don't know the last time I was around a baby. It's been a minute. When was the last time I saw a baby in, in the in the flesh? Probably pre-COVID, to be honest. I don't hang out with babies, you know? Dopey smells like flowers. New babies. Surely not, like, new, new babies. Um... Bow, bow. Yeah, I think they smell like throw up and like carrots and shit. Literally shit, you know? Oh no. Yeah, I'm, I I never want to hold a baby. Anytime I'm offered, not, not that I'm, you know, people are running up to me on the street, hold my baby. What's that? But uh, if it's like, you know, a family friend or a uh, I think I, I or a relative and they're like, you want to hold a baby? Like, no, not even a little. Um, bow, bow. Yeah, new baby smells carrots, yeah. Um, amniotic fluid is mostly grapefruit. Is that true? Um, they smelled oddly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's way weirder, in fact, procured scotch. I think it's, I think it's actually so weird that the one, the other thing isn't even weird. Um, and I think the thing is, like, you're not, like, um, purposefully sniffing a baby. They just have a pungent aroma already. Um, no thanks, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> I don't want to hold a baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that you probably need to have, like, a socially acceptable reason to not want to hold the baby besides I'm a scared coward who doesn't really care for babies. And, like, like as much as I don't care for a baby, I don't want to drop it, you know? Um, that's not fair to the baby. The baby will be an adult one day. I don't want to fuck up the baby. So... Everyone I knew had babies in the pandemic. Jeez, I guess you're bored, right? That's always good. I'm bored, so let's make a baby. Um, but you know, you're stuck in the house, nothing to do. Ah! Yeah, I didn't make any babies during the pandemic. I just, I dropped them. That's, that's why I'm scarred. That's why I don't pick them up anymore. There's no way I picked them up, they smelled so bad, and I dropped them. You don't me? Bum, bum. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, I dropped my so phone easy. so much. I'm not gonna hold a baby. Ben, don't be fooled! Don't be fooled! Oh, wait, I have, um, the Terrell Dwarf Woodlands uh, Keyblade, so. You know that as well as I do. Bum, bum, bum. I'm voting in this poll for sure. Yeah. <laughs> The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. Yo, I love After fucking all, Enchanted Dominion's art style. And just the movie's art style. And the music. I'm Ugh. Sure I think it's my, uh... Where did I have it in the BBS world uh, ranking? I want to say it was, like, third from the top. Radiant Guard was number one, but the then I think it was... Home. It was Neverland and then this. Then, let's go home. Let's go home. But Terra... Bum, 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 bum. Look at yet. that. Look at the people are with me. I don't know where all the naysayers from the beginning of the stream went. Yeah, 10 from the bottom. Yeah, that's right. Nice Kiwi reference there, Carly. 
I love the Silent Forest. That's like one of my favorite field themes in the entire series. I have to find him before it's too late. I think it's probably is it top five? Because you gotta have Traverse Town and Hollow Bastion up there. I think it's my favorite in this game, and then Neverland, uh, Daydream upon Never Neverland is number two. And allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. Yo. Can't wait, PJ, for Angelina Jolie and Suzanne Blakesley to share the screen in Cage 4. Yes. PJ sold me on that, by the way. I am Ribbonfly, thank you. Um, I've, I've been pretty good for about two days now. Um, just a little bit of stuffy nose, <coughs> stuffy nose and congestion. That was just a normal GERD cough. Um, that was not affected. Uh, but yeah, PJ sold me on the idea of uh, um, live-action Maleficent meeting the uh, animated Maleficent for KH4. I think that would be so cool. Um, so I'm stumping for that, um, as evidenced from the uh, World Watch video. Yo, it's literally called IllegalChips.com. Wow. Okay, this sold out for a minute anyway. Yeah, thank you, Fruitoon. Great. Who are you? Um, who are you? I'm Blandman. Blandman number three. Looks like I was caught in a trap. What Why is this question? Um. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's such a loaded question, Ribbonfly. Um. For some reason, Dream Drop tastes worse now. I've read that some people their taste and smell like they taste even worse, or some smells are just distorted in taste as well. So. Dream Drop, I looked at it, I licked the case before, and it was just bad. It tasted like a Switch game. Um, I have not watched Arrow, no. Um, yeah, I agree, Allie. I mean, I don't hate it on principle, like, I'm open to it. Um, I didn't actually lick it, for the record. I everyone will believe that I'll, I'll sniff or lick anything, but I did not. I have licked a Switch game, though. Um, I, I want to run a poll... If you're a Switch owner, have you licked one of your Switch cartridges? Because I did. Um, and it's bad. Because everyone said it was really, really bad. I was like, well, I gotta know. Which usually is not a line of logic that I follow. Um, but I did it. No? You should. I mean, the reason they have it taste so bad is I think so babies don't eat them. But you guys don't remember when like the Switch first came out? Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll Google it. Switch cartridge taste. Yeah, if you type in Switch Cartridge, the third result on Google is taste. So I'm not like the first person to do this. Here, it's a Screen Rant uh, article. Um, why Switch Cartridges taste so bad. Um, yeah, Switch Cartridges are small and potentially dangerous choking hazards. However, there is a bitter coating on them which might help. And I didn't like fucking full on lick it. I touched my tongue to it. Um, what has become of you? <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm going crazy. Um... Yeah, so I think it's so that uh, babies don't eat them. Yeah, that was another thing I did during the pandemic. I kept feeding babies Switch cartridges. Um, they hated it. But thankfully they taste bad, so nobody choked. Um, but you should do it at least once, just to know. Just to know what it's like. Um, there was a React episode on tasting Switch cartridges. Have you licked a Nintendo Switch cartridge? Yes, I was curious. No, why would I? Well, you should do it if you own one. You should, just to see. It's not going to linger forever. Just get have a drink on standby. Um, I would just say, compared to other cartridges and other uh, games, the Switch tastes the worst. Um, I would rank the Switch at the bottom of the taste tier list, and then everything else tied for uh, first. Um, we should find if, there's a, if a cartridge tastes significantly better than other cartridges. See if that's a thing. Ow! What am I doing? I gotta get out of here. I don't know what I was trying to accomplish. Really, Otto? I think you need to do, like, a, maybe a new one. Because uh, I first did it when I got one. It was, like, Christmas of 2017 or 18. And I licked Mario Odyssey. Um, so it was a fresh new cartridge. Um, it's just very bitter at Daybreak. Also, um, McRobin23, thank you for the follow there. Um, you, you may have missed Tong. Yeah, that can't happen. Um, it's a shame, but it does happen. Millions suffer yearly from missed tonguing. Um, you see people do it, you became scared. It's really not that bad. Um, but you gotta, you gotta tongue the artwork uh, side of it. That's what I did. I can do it probably right now. 
Uh, Mario Party. I mean, Superstars has been in my Switch already, though, so I don't know if I want to lick Superstars. I don't think I've opened up No More Heroes 3 yet. I'll lick it on stream. I'll, let me go get it. This is what everybody asked for, right? Let's see. No More Heroes 3. It's still in the fucking plastic. Ugh, it's the lick cam. <laughs> yeah, this stream has been a roller coaster, hasn't it? Opening up live uh, unwrapping of No More Heroes 3 for Switch. Um, a lot of blood and gore, intense, violent, strong language, and suggested themes. Right up my alley. Alright. Fresh game. Right, wait, don't steal my code. Don't steal my, my bonus in game t shirt. Can I even still get that? Yeah, don't steal my, uh, my kill cat shirt. Alright, I haven't done this in years, so. Now, it smells fine. Gonna lick it on the art side. I'm just gonna tap my tongue to it. Ugh, so bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, no one encouraged me to do it. I, I decided to do it. Um, yeah, that tastes like shit. So don't eat your Switch games. Um, yeah, that's a fresh game. So maybe it needs to not be in the cartridge or not in the Switch Auto. Um, listen, I don't care. Does it taste bad on the not art side? I gotta go back for seconds now? Jesus Christ. I've done this before. This is the second, but now it's the third time I've done it. Um, all right. We'll taste the non art side. I would probably say like above the little, um, slot thing. So I'll, I'll just taste this black part here. Yeah, that also tastes bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, this very Christmas story vibe. This is, this is flick on the, on the telephone pole. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Both sides do not taste good. And I would assume that maybe the bitter coating wears off after use, uh, or if you just lick it excessively. Um, hopefully my No More Heroes 3 will still work. Bam, bam. And now I know my taste is back for sure, because that was awful. Bum, 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 bum. You didn't think that was going to happen during the stream? You got to be ready for anything. All right. You guys get riled up over the littlest things. Hi, Castle Oath Keeper. Oh! Oh! I mean, I am a weird guy, but I don't think I'm... I, I've always thought that I'm uh, I'm ordinary, but I'm also weird, so... Um, yeah, I got to keep you on your toes. You ever, you feel that? You identify with that? I always thought, like, I'm very, very ordinary, but I'm also, like, a fucking weirdo. Um, so. You shouldn't be too surprised. Uh, you gotta be paying attention. You've been watching for a while now. Regular odd, yeah. Yeah, I'm regular, but I'm weird. So, yeah, never let them know your next move. Do I have to kill all the goons? <clears throat> yeah, I think if you're not at least a little weird, uh... That's weird. <laughs> I guess that makes you weird. It's the, it's an Ouroboros of weirdness. Yeah, I'm chaotic neutral. Oh, Philip's fucking dead. Philip! Lillian! Oh, getting shot. Didn't mean to do that. Wasted my push. Oh, fuck. Yo, Philip sucks. Fucking white bread. Do I just have to reach the end? Like, do I need to do this? Can I just go? I think I can just go. I don't need to put up with the goons. This goon behavior. Oh, no, I do. Okay, never mind. Bom, 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 bom. Yeah, I think being weird is pretty regular. I guess isn't it like uh isn't there like a stat like they they pulled people and like do you think you're weird like how weird are you from a scale of one to whatever and most people put themselves like more than the halfway mark on weirdness um so it's it's kind of funny that more people think that they're not normal which would indeed make not normal be normal bum, 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 bum. maybe it was like do you think you're like a unique person or, or something like that <clears throat> There we go. Um, 
Most people think they're extraordinary in various regards. See, I don't, extraordinary is way too, too flowery of a word. Like, I, I don't think I'm extraordinary. Extraordinary, even. Um, most people think they're smarter than average. Um, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Um, I mean, statistically, a lot of people uh, are probably extraordinary in some way, right? But not, uh... Wait, is Philip not with me anymore? What, what the fuck, Philip? Like, if you do something or are something that is, like, less than 50% of people, then that you're technically, like, extraordinary, aren't you? Extraordinary. Or, or um... Yeah, just being extraordinary, especially boring. Um... <laughs> no, I mean, I think, uh... I think, uh, I'm weird, but I'm not, like, XD random quirky weird. Like, I, I can fit in with the masses, fine. Um, like, I'm not gonna be talking about licking Switch cartridges in front of people that I've known for, for two minutes, but this is my space, you know, you're my audience. Um, I don't, I don't mind being a little extra weird. Um, I'm actually not an extraordinary cage player. I suck. I died to Ven. <laughs> the tutorial. Tutorial Ventus death. Bow, bow. God. These goons are in the movie, right? Like, why do I remember them at all? Boom, 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 boom. God, I wish we could have fought the fucking... Uh, if we're not gonna have a Black Cauldron world, I wanna fight, like, all the Black Cauldron monster skeleton minions. Because they're fucking gnarly. Oh! Okay, okay. I have no health. Um, I can't D-Link either because fucking Philip is here. Pick up this one HP ball, I guess. Oh, that does nothing. I'm fucked. Philip, help! Philip, I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah, Philip, fuck him up. Yeah, Aqua doesn't want to be rude to Philip, so she won't delink. She's too kind for her own good. Come on. Over here. Oh, I missed the fucking... He's like, what are you doing, you idiot? Sorry, I'm sorry. Please, do it again. Do it again, please. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, did I fail and I have to do this again? Or did I jump down? I think I failed it and I'm being punished. And Philip's dead. Oh, shot in the back. This is not a level one run. I am now level three or four, I think. I want to say I'm three. I wonder if I should switch to Treasure Trove. I think that's higher attack, less magic, though, so maybe not. I wasn't looking. I was like... <laughs> oh, man. I did fail the RC, though. Bow, 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 bow. Rowdy Rumble. I guess there are worse places for it. All right. Let's get the finisher going. Let's start shredding these fucking goons. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh! Oh! Avenger save! Wow. Avengers confirmed for KH4. You heard it here. A hint that Namura snuck in? He's Giga Brain? Wow. <clears throat> Is that Philip's dad's name? I thought it was Stefan. Rowdy Rumble in the Underworld? I mean, if Pete's in the Underworld, like, Rowdy Rumble is kind of like Pete's de facto boss theme. Even though they use it for other stuff, obviously, in Cage 2. Um, but I think most people associate Rowdy Rumble with Pete. Just general Disney mischief, you know. That's what it is. Anytime there's Disney mischief, you get Rowdy Rumble. You get it with the hyenas and the Beagle Boys. Ah! These goons. Alright, let's fuck off. Let's press the fuck off button. Must we fight? Must we? I might get walled on the fucking goons. Because I have no way of healing. I don't have any potions, and they give me, like, very little fucking... HP balls. 
They're stingy. Gotta pick my openings, you know. Ah! Okay. Very well. Die. Alright. Yeah, we're fucking it up now. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Are you kidding? God, I got fucking rocked. Alright, let's do this then. Jesus. Oh, right, this leveled up. Did I whiff on a bunch of those? Ah! Can I even survive another hit? There we go, we're good, we're good. Got the goons, the most tense goon fight I've ever had. Am I doing something wrong? Am I supposed to be progressing somehow? Are there really that many waves of goons? Alright, I think we're good to... Can we move on? Here we go, jeez. There really are that many goon waves. There, I didn't fail the RC. <laughs> I had to wait for Philip to do that, so I think he wouldn't have done it if there were goons around. Gonna grab these. Absolute fucking zero. Nope. Oh! Can I please just do this? And leave before I get killed by the goons? Alright, good. That's that's auto. Okay. I got high jump. Oh yeah, I forgot you got that here. I guess I'll equip it. And now we got the dragon. Which, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die on the dragon. Thanks a lot, auto. Thanks a lot, I'm an auto, auto with a T, but yeah. Oh, I have cure. I should probably have that in. Um, I'm gonna take out slow for this. Although, does it really fucking matter? Like, I don't have anything really worthwhile to replace it with. Quick Blitz is not going to help with, uh, with Dragon Maleficent. I don't think you get points towards your commands either in boss fights. I could be wrong on that, but... Um, no, I'll, I'll try at least try to beat the dragon before we end stream. Um, like, ideally, I wanted to get through these first three princess worlds. Change the Keyblade? Yeah, I'll have to check that. I think it's going to be worse off for me. I mean, most of my damage kind of comes from, like, Blizzard and Thunder. But I think this is going to make it so that my uh, magic is weaker if I change it. Oh, no, well, it's, it gives me more strength, and critical hits are less likely, but that's fine. It's also shorter. It's like a fucking dagger, this one. All right. And I'll, uh, I'll grind and kill and burst if I need to. Bow, bow. <clears throat> um, what's that? What's topic? What's, what's going on? Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, high jump. Yes, sorry, I will. Okay. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? What did I do wrong this time? Um, okay. I will. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, that's gonna be command. <laughs> I went into fight or flight mode. I'll pay back Surge. Replace that. Okay. Alright. Um. Bah. No, PJ's great. Um, both the person and the command. PJ! I really wish I had a dash. I love dashing. Bah. Um, I don't know if anyone else feels this. I'm like high key sad that it doesn't really make sense to listen to Christmas music anymore. Um. Even though I started way early, it's just kind of, uh, it's always so comfy for me. Um, and I'm sad that it's over. And I guess it was like, it was just, I didn't get to have my typical Christmas. And, uh, that's, that also bummed me out a bit. But, like I said, we made the best of it. But it's just like, I just wish it didn't feel like as Christmassy as usual. Yeah, exactly. It's already... You're still in the mood, but it's already over. And it's like... Well, now I can't listen to fucking... 
You know, all the, all the classics. <clears throat> I mean, you can. It's like nobody's stopping you, but it's like... Yeah, it just I just feel like that also cheapens the value of Christmas. Um, see you, Oma. Have a good one. Really, I was still, um, like, able to see, like, my immediate family, because we all had it. Um, and we're all fine. But I couldn't go to my, my grandma's. <clears throat> no, absolutely not. Oh, she said the H word. Um, no, absolutely not. I hate up on the housetop. I wanted to do, like, a Christmas bracket or, or something this year, but we just didn't really have the time. She said hell. We could have made the time, but I don't know. I was not in work mode at all. <clears throat> like this last half month between Christmas chaos and being sick. The high jump is going to be huge here. Oh, fuck off. Here. Here we go. Oh, fuck. I failed the RC again. I'm not paying attention. At least Cage 2 will, like, fucking flash it on the screen. Uh, I'm just, like, not looking. <laughs> Philip throws Aqua into the fire. Die! <laughs> you are dead now. Goodbye. This was all a ruse. I was aligned with Maleficent all along. It's me, Philip, the true interesting character with my ulterior motivations. Is it hell o'clock? It sure is. God damn it. Now! Here! Here. Alright. Fucking press the buttons this time, idiot. Mash X. Selfless Prince. There we go. So stupid. Oh my god, did I get like the fucking last millisecond of that? The fucking last half frame of that stomp move? Jesus Christ. Watch your fucking language, yeah. Get up on the dragon's back, I'm trying. I can't. Not yet. Wait, can you ever during this fight? I don't know. I feel like no. Oh, fuck off. What? Come on. These foot shockwaves are nonsense. These are straight up bonkers. Alright. Come on. Boom, boom. I guess the head has a hitbox? Yeah. That's that's what it looks like. Maybe I should use my... Maleficent's like, I am not fucking around right now. That is it. You're done. Immediately. Toasted. Oh, jeez. Alright. Stay high, high up. I have to, like, use block to increase my hang time if I don't jump at the right moment. Here! Now! Now! Okay. Selfless Prince! Doesn't even do damage or just clear the fire. Oh my god! I was like fucking a mile in the air. It does kind of splash. Not today, but it might be next time. No, we'll see. Like, I can just grind on burst instead. Although it would be really nice to have. Isn't this where we started grinding command board when we first played this? Oh. Oh man. All right, all right. Come on now. Come on. This is doable. If it's not, then we <laughs> then we won't do it. <laughs> but what a great equation. If doable, then do it. But if it's not, then don't. An if-then statement for the ages. Wait. Okay. Let's let's do a shot lock. Let's see. Oh, okay. She said no. You won't though. You actually won't. Um. There's cheese. Yeah, I feel like this is where we were like, alright, I have to do command board so I can get a second chance or something.
Fuck, stay still, would you? Oh my god! No! Like, I'm p taking note of the of the health here. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> taking note of the health. Does she lose health after you do this? Oh, she does. Okay, so it's worth doing. What is this question? Um, do you know the cheese? Go to the back of the feet, then just cast spells until... Really? Okay. Well, Blizzard's not going to reach. Thunder does. I got killed by your fucking thigh! Um, I don't know how well I can uh, cast spells from that distance. Other feet? Oh, the back feet? I think that's still too far away, though. Other side? Alright, maybe. Wow, we're gonna be super cheesy? I think so, folks. <laughs> and then- Oh, well, fuck, but I was still in the way. Like an idiot. Should I still join the prince for selfless prince? Also, fuck. No, I'm gonna let him cook. Wait, let him cook. I still fuck it up! Oh, god! That's just gonna take forever, and I'm still gonna die. I'm, I'm not good enough for the cheese. Come on. Fuck. Oh, fuck off! Now! Say that! She has way too much health. She only works on grounds. I just don't know how any of my stuff is going to reach her if I don't... I mean, maybe my thunder would reach. But that's all I really have. Like, my blizzard is going to go in a straight line. Fuck! I'm so stupid! Oh, what is wrong with me? The cheese is moldy, yeah. I mean, maybe I just save this for next time. I wanted to try and see if I could get this done, but I might have to do a bit of grinding. Um, I guess I could go and see if I can buy more spells. I hate waiting, though. <laughs> I do hate waiting. Maybe I just play good. Cheese and crackers? Bro of alone, Havarti. Fuck. Sorry, Philip, it's too dangerous. Go! Yeah! We're still doing this? No, okay, cool. Now! Alright, let's not fuck it up. Let's get that damage. Oh my fuck! You asshole! Oh fuck you! Oh man! Alright. A uh, couple more tries. A couple more. Oh yeah, I have absolute zero. Although that one I don't think I can... It's only level one, so... Might not be that good. 
Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe that fucking frame one death on the on the fire. All right, let's let's see about. Is there? There's not even a fucking Moogle here, is there? Um. Hmm. Da, na, na. Um. Absolute zero. I, I thought I had it. What happened to it? Did I not pick that up? Did I die after I picked it up? Maybe. Huh. I could have sworn I had that, but I don't see it. So I probably it's in a chest somewhere that I died after opening. Um. Maybe. Yeah, I'm still in the stinky dragon battle. Dun dun. I don't really have any options right now. I can go to the Moogle and buy more magic, but... I don't know. We'll give it a few more goes. And then I'll, I'll probably just uh, grind and burst off stream. Because we're not doing this again until Tuesday. Okay, stay out of the fucking front lines here. Block early and block often. No! Let's go, Phil! Can the uh, fairies just fucking enchant his sword and do it like the movie? Why do we gotta do this? It was like a one shot in the movie, was it not? Alright, that's good. That's good stuff. Probably the furthest we've made it so far. No, no, no! Fuck! Back here now. Gotcha. Ash. Oh my god, that is nuts. That is fucking nuts, though. No, Phil, I'm busy. I'm busy shooting bubbles. I feel like I'm in more in danger back here because I just fuck it up. Yeah, I can't D-Link as a fucking Phil. Three's a crowd, I guess. Could you knock it off? Damn it. Wasn't locked on. Do the thing, Phil! We're making progress. Alright, she's flying. I don't really remember what happens next. Team attack. Selfless Prince. Oh yeah, you do get up on the dragon's back. I fell! I think you're supposed to fall there, right? Oh, I'm stuck in the thorns! Fell! She's over here now! Okay, fuck that. Fuck that. That's it. We're done. <laughs> We're done. It probably is the best version of a Maleficent fight, though. I mean, it's either this or KH1, or Coded. Um, KH1 one is imposing, but it's a little uh, chaotic. 
Um, yeah, no, that's... <laughs> fuck that. I got killed from, like, halfway across the fucking room. Um, I need to probably get a uh, second chance before we... Or, you know, grind a bit more so I don't die in one hand to that, but... Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm st you know, we basically finished Enchanted Dominion. We'll, we'll wrap that up on, on Tuesday and probably get into, uh, you know, Rainy Garden, Olympus, Deep Space. Um, not, not as much, uh, beginning tutorial shit to sit through, so. Um, yeah, we'll shut it down for now. Um, so, if you're new, I know we had a couple of new people today. Um, we do stream usually every Tuesday, Thursday at 6, Saturday at 4. This weekend is New Year's Eve. I'll be with family. Um, so we'll not be streaming on Saturday uh, again, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I'm happy to be spending time with my family, but I'm, I just feel bad that I've, I've skipped the last few Saturdays and this last Tuesday because I was sick. But um, so usually Tuesday, Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, Saturday 4 p.m. Um, I think, so not this coming Saturday because of New Year's, but the Saturday after, I think we're going to be playing Sly Cooper. Um, my patrons especially have been begging me for that, so that'll be our weekend game, but Tuesday, Thursday will be our BBS slot, so we'll be continuing the Platinum Trophy run, um, throughout. Um, so yeah, I guess I won't see you until 2023, but next time I'll see you will be, uh, Tuesday the 3rd, so I hope you'll have a fucking fantastic New Year's, um, and I hope this next year brings you everything you hope for and more. Um, I had a great year. Um, the, honestly, COVID and, and gallbladder stuff aside in this last quarter, best year of my life. I say it every every time I can, but like 2021, great year for me. 22, uh, fucking knocked it out of the park. Just thank you all so much for, for sticking with me, and uh, whether it's here or on YouTube, um, I just am having the time of my life, getting to do what I love. Um, I'm really excited to get back to, to work and to do um, the projects that I want to do for this next year. And um, yeah. Thank you. So uh, I'll just do my, my plugs real quick. I'm on Twitter. Um, we have a Discord. And I'm also on Patreon. Um, we did reach that goal. So I will be doing those uh, stretch incentives as we discussed earlier on in the stream. Um, and I'm also, I have the second channel. Um, if you're ever uh, trying to catch up on VODs or you're curious if I played something, everything I've ever done on Twitch, barring like two exceptions, is on the... Uh, regularly uh, uh regular pats cleverly named second channel yeah i should probably know how that's pronounced um so there you go that's everything from me um yeah until next time uh be safe be kind be courteous happy new year and i'll see you uh tuesday